tired of this fat fuck popping up in all my fucking search engines when I'm looking for a fucking workout video. I don't give a fuck about the aftermath from any of you boogie fans who feel sorry for this greasy fuck. Oh. Cheese drinking. Ass smelling. Crisco bathing. Lard gargling. Calorie eating. Chad, if you like ass smelling, get that ass. Hey, hey, hey. She's drinking. Ass smelling. Crystal bathing. Lard garland. Calorie eating. Blah. She's drinking. Ass smelling. Crystal bathing. Lard garland. Calorie eating. All right, all right, partners. Keep on rolling, baby. This is a very improv stream, by the way. This is, uh... So here's the story behind this stream. Uh, I had no intention of streaming today. I had a very nice plan. It kind of went derailed a little bit. It's still happening most of it after the stream. But um, my plug was involved, and he couldn't get my stuff, so I'm kind of cranky. But then I go on Twitter, and I watch this one clip that is a minute long. And it was, I, I mean, it, it was just a mental breakdown. It was crazy. So I'm like, damn, let's just, let's just watch this because I missed the pre-stream. So let's just rewind time and, and watch it again. Uh, first, I want to give some context for the people that didn't watch the stream yesterday and didn't see what actually happened. So this is, uh, how, how would I even call it? I think it was Mimology 101 who had it. Mimology 101. There we go. We got him here. Um, because. It was super fucking funny. Or I think Ann Lead had it. Does he have it? I think he did. I think it was on his channel. Uh, yeah, this is it. It's just a... It, it's kind of a brief segment. You fill us in. But it's super interesting. So, uh, yeah. A quick recap. He was playing Yakuza Gaiden like a, like a beggar, infinite beg. And uh, there was a character or a group of characters that got exposed on video by some VTuber... And they basically got canceled in real life. And then he was like, dude, this is literally me. But not in the way of like, you know how some characters in media are just relatable? Because, you know, that's, that's the way they connect to the viewer. That's perfectly normal. But he took it like a step further as, it, as in to say, this is like, just like me. This is exactly my story. Even call it a fourth wall breaking moment. So let's see what that entails. Then, what is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. That's why they let him go. Because Hello Work knew that wasn't true, but they couldn't keep him on the payroll because they were getting a bad name. So that's why they let him go. Oh, shit. That's fucked up. The guys who broke up the Omi and Tojo have been off living the good life, right? <laughs> You're no exception. Wow. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? All right, simmer down. Now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience? Yeah, you know, all? it's kind of like when I was partnered with Twitch TV for many, many years and they never had a problem with me. And all of a sudden, a group of my detractors put together a smear campaign against Bruh. me saying all this stuff about me that Bruh. wasn't true. This dude was literally in the mafia. It has nothing to do with you saying hello, Jew, in 2009, bro. It's nothing like that. And then Twitch was so stupid, they just believed it and <laughs> gave me out the partner program. 
I mean, that's literally what's happening with him. It's literally what's happening. They're kicking him out of partnership program in Japan or something. It's just a bunch of slander people put together that's not true. But it built up enough to the point where now his life is getting fucked up, too. How messed Back up off. is that, man? Yeah, I wonder if he jerked off on the internet. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, he's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! <laughs> Look at this! They may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down, he's just another Yakuza. Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less. Oh, honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. <laughs> so you see here, they basically just staged an assault. Which has never happened about DSP, by the oh, way. I wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like He's that. already That's unemployed. It doesn't matter. Oh, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm going to give into this crap? You think anybody's going to buy your stupid act? Oh, <laughs> a little editing goes along. Oh, you see, this is literally like him. They twist everything that happened way. in a malicious context. Epic. We didn't even get a chocolate starfish today. Nope. What a scam. Probably too busy counting Sundar's <laughs> scam money to do one. Yeah, this was kind of an improv stream, so you don't get the real intro. You just get the fake short little intro. Wait and... But um, uh, first I'm playing this for context so you, you know what he lashes out about. And then we're going to play the, the whole pre-stream from today. And as, as I've seen, I think the, the pre-stream breakdown just dropped. And uh, let me tell you, brother. We got... Uh, so we got 32 minutes to set up. So that's music and DSP sitting in chat. We got a two-minute intro, 20-minute rap recap of yesterday, 13-minute schedule, and 36 minutes, which is 47% of his podcast. That is begging, shout-outs, and lashing out at people. Wild stuff. A couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah. And this is like, like I said, this was the closest I've seen him to having an actual mental breakdown. This dude was rabid. Good luck, pal. You sure? I mean, you're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you <clears throat> really want to throw oil on that fire? Wow. Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? So let's, let's just speed this up. He's like, huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Have you not seen people talking about you online? Get to have nothing but guys. Seriously? Yes, okay. Alert. The rent he had earlier was absolutely insane. Absolutely. He literally told people to off themselves. It's only January. The season is going to be amazing. Bro, this, that one clip that is a minute long is what made me boot up the stream right now. I had no intention of streaming today. I was just gonna chillax, watch some uh, Sopranos, wait until the rumble starts, and just like stay up and watch the show. So this is now a VTuber that is exposing people online, dude. What the fuck is this? Let's get to it. Ladies and gents, our perp of the day. <laughs> this man here is Ichiban Kazuka. Look, does this look familiar? I mean, not a VTuber portion of it, but it's all online slander, just like with me. L yeah, but the actual context of the clip is that the VTuber is exposing him for shoplifting, which they actually did right at the beginning of the game. Literally, it's just my story. People just making shit up online. Literally, standard, by the way. Based on no facts, just fucking conspiracy. And it's ruining his life like they're trying to ruin mine. Literally, it's based on no fact. Those people shoplifted, by the way. Oh my fucking god. Dude. Actually, actually. Dude. In the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions You're kidding me. <laughs> on top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This what the fuck? footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kazuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. The hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding. Ichiban Kazuga seems wow. to be whispering orders to his ex Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kazuga, the ex Yakuza leaves Hello Work, only to make a beeline for. A mini mart, a yeah, store, literally. A fancy boutique. Look at this. We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to yeah, they get they get completely fairly exposed for shoplifting. That's how the game starts. I can't. 
Hey, hold up. But then Phil is like, yeah, that's literally me. Well, I guess that would make it worse, right? Because people are just exposing you for the shit that you've done without, like, actual twisting. This, this isn't twisting anything, right? Because I watched this in real time as he was playing it. Seems like they shoplifted and then they got exposed. Alert. Who's your Rumble winner? I'm going with Cody. Time to finish the story. He should have beat Roman last year. Uh, I agree. I don't know. I think it's, there's going to be some fuckery involved. Uh, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. That's, that's kind of why I'm watching it. And I wanted to watch it live so I don't get any spoilers. Ain't right. Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping 2 million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand. In other words, <laughs> he's having down and out ex Yakuza steal for him. Then so yeah, you kind of get the point, right? <laughs> Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. Okay, so let's skip to Phil's commentary. Oh. The game based on my story. Yeah, literally. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with relating to a character in some form of a, a entertainment medium. You know, they kind of exist to be relatable. But this is like next level. And made this game. They this is like main character syndrome, straight up. Because I know everybody is the main character in their own story, in their own life. But this dude wants to be the main character in everybody's life. Wrote the game based on my story. It all makes sense. <laughs> That's got to be oh my god! Today. It's just got to. Anyway, look. We got you on video. You're so remarkable. Are you going to buy it off us or not? Like hell I am. I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> what a shame. Guess we got no choice. Right, so so this was basically it. And what we got later was a couple of other segments where he was basically repeating this over and over again. He called it a fourth wall breaking moment where it was like, dude, this is just like me. And all that other stuff. But now we got DSP Gaming. Let's first give him a, a live vibe check. Apparently Yakuza has been demoted to the night stream on the second day of its existence. And now we're just getting Tekken 8 story mode. Per your votes, you assholes ask for it. So that's why he's playing story. And I guess you guys are not supporting it because uh, he's sitting on 25 plus 10. So the 25 is the one minute cuck and the 10 is everybody else. So not very positive. So let's rewind and enjoy this pre-stream. As you can see, huge section where he's just playing music. He's lazier than ever before. Let's see in the beginning what happens. First, we get a drip check. Um, fashion police. What do you guys say? I think uh, this looks uh, super homeless. It looks really bad. And this kind of clothing doesn't fit him at all, especially anything that has a hood. Even though I yeah, wish he would put it on. Car tire. You know what? That's, that's uh, entirely possible. If somebody gets their tire stolen in the game, then it's definitely about him. It's definitely inspired by true events. Welcome to the Level 1 Podcast. It is Saturday. The 27th of January, 2024. I'm Dark Side. I'm 41. Force. And <laughs> today's an exciting day. Why? Yeah, so the drip check is a critical failure. He rolled a zero. Because today we get to talk about the double new releases that came out yesterday. And it was a great day. Um, I'm happy to say that both of these new releases are great. Um, They're definitely completely different styles of games. I don't think anyone's going to accuse a incredibly lengthy... Yeah, this is getting skipped because now I got the power to skip everything. So I'm going to trim a lot of fat off of this, this big old boy. We're going to be eating fatless bacon today. Well, I actually have some positive updates in regarding the React channel. So oh, okay, I'm they, curious about um, that. So let's talk, shall we? So first of all, <clears throat> I will say this. Thank you to anyone who attended either of yesterday's launch streams for Like a Dragon, Infinite Well, or Tekken 8. Um, attendance on each was good, although admittedly, one thing that does disappoint me... Bro, uh, bro. There's a difference between relating to the main character and thinking the whole story is about your life. This just proves how M. Rainbows' his ego is. Well, I don't think he literally thinks that somebody got inspired by his life and made this, but he's going way too far with the whole comparing it to his own situation. Uh, and and we're, gonna, we're gonna get the, him extending on that idea in this episode. Uh, but he, he said the attendance was great, even though yesterday at some points when he was playing the Yakuza game, he got less than 300 viewers for a day one brand new release. Uh, I don't think the attendance is great, but whatever you say, Professor Burnell. 
about, I guess, just the reality of my existence as a content creator is that the kind of stuff that I like isn't always the stuff that resonates with a lot of my audience, okay? Here's what I mean by that. Ooh, wow. Is there a huge Thick. audience out there for people when it comes to JRPGs? No. Skip, skip, skip. They go, you got your answer. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, from the Detractor Beam broadcast, we are probably doing the same thing you guys were doing over there, but with a different cast. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's crazy because then I'll play another game, like a fighting game. like And thanks, Dark play, Fortune, for the membership, like dude. Resident Evil. Or I'll play a FromSoft game, right? Or, or you no. don't. We can just not play games instead and just rant at, at Kiwi Farms. It's very hard <laughs> to have a conversation. Man, I can't wait for that segment. It was so good. It's the most pissed off I've seen him in a long, long time. He was so pissed. When I have a few hundred. And he was it pissed at his own chat as well. You see? The key is finding that balance that you have the right amount of attendees, the right amount of engagement with said attendees so that the stream is entertaining for both sides and also maintaining support because yes, this is my job as well as my hobby. So it's that mix. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes what happens is you have a series of streams of JRPGs that are very slow. And then all of a sudden people show up and start engaging again and start supporting again. You're like, whoa, what happened, right? Um, in the case of Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, here's what I have to say about the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, though, uh, actually, it's not speaking of which, just completely unrelated. Uh, yesterday, we had a very strong day in Champions. So according to TJ Gamebox, who is the, the Champions mastermind, his estimate is at $1,078. But the pulls were 25% off, dude, so it's kind of okay. They were prorated. Uh, and I think he might have got the, the special Vader guy but i don't know what matters is that he pulled a lot and he, based on his reaction during the stream it probably wasn't that great first three hours okay no exaggeration all right literally no exaggeration he's about to exaggerate <clears throat> why are people saying mic going out does the mic sound like the mic is going out for anyone it looks fine to me the mic good guys do i sound fine but the mic is uh, he was honest. He says he was down a thousand dollars, and now I believe him. It's looking exactly the same as it always does, on my end. It's fine. Someone must have whoever said that. Alert. Never thought I'd say this, but I agree with the dent. Phil is being cringe when he acts like the game is about his life. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, well, of course. He's being super cringe, especially being like 42 years old and like yelling at the screen. Dude, this is literally me. This is my story. It's like we get uh, it, bro. No, we get it, but it, it's not. Your internet then. 90% oh. cutscenes. In oh, hold on. This is the exaggeration. All right, anyway. <clears throat> so, I'm three hours into Like a Dragon Infinite Well. I'm not kidding you. It was 98% cutscenes. In the entire time there, I must have actually controlled Ichiban Kasuga maybe like 25 minutes, if that. Like, not even close. I mean, the fights, basically a tutorial right now, haven't even had a serious real fight yet. And I get it, but the truth is that that's not going to resonate with a big audience. I know it. Like, people want action. When you're playing a video game, I want to You know what? Get... Real quick, since we're getting super relatable today, remember when he related his life? To Job from the Bible, you know, that dude who had God kill everything that he ever loved, and he still was persistent in his belief? Yeah, that's Phil. That falls apart at the same time. It's just like everything at once. Like, what the fuck? You know, and I said this earlier this year. I'll say it again. It's like, you ever heard the story of Job, who in the Bible was someone who had so much tremendous amount of negative shit thrown against him? And it was like, how much is enough? Like, what are you trying to prove here, God? What are you trying to do to one person? And all this shit happened within a short period of fucking time. Okay. It was really bad. You know, and then I broke up <laughs> with Leanna. And it's like, this, are you this, this is the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's just like Job. Uh, excuse me, Job, not Job. We don't do that here. Are you kidding me? Like, I've done <laughs> all the other shit that I've been through over the years. Now this too. It's like every possible fucking negative thing that could possibly happen. It has happened to me. It's like, I what, what's the story in the Bible? Now, by the way, I'm not a super religious person or anything like that. And I think a lot of people who watch my videos know that. But I grew up Roman Catholic. There's a story. Is it was it Job who like had a whole, he had a life. His whole life was screwed up, and it was just like, you know, Lord, how could you? Do you know what? He's more like Job from Arrested Development. That's what he's more like. 
That's definitely the Job he is. So many negative things to me. What did I ever... Except Job was actually funny and, you know, kind of a, a goofy, silly dude. Ask, or how did I ever ask for this? And I guess the answer that he got back was basically, it's a test or something. And, you know, I don't know. I don't really remember the story. But I feel like that person who's now been like every possible fucking thing thrown against me, right, over the years that could negatively be against me to the point where it's like, I mean... <sighs> sure, yeah, we, we, we got the point. You're, you're just like that guy. Right into the action. Show me some combat. Show me some riveting stuff with interesting gameplay mechanics. And literally, you've seen nothing in this game yet, right? On top of that, the game went in this direction, this crazy, I'd say risky narrative direction. Where what they're trying to do is reestablish the characters, like what happened to them since the first Like a Dragon So game. we're going to reestablish some skips. Also, he found out that when you unlock that island that he was planning on playing with Cat, it's like 20 hours into the game. And that game has already been demoted to the second stream. So yeah, it's, it's not happening anytime soon. The story of, uh, of Job. Job? Wait, 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 what? Now have to go on a second journey, right? If these characters really did have a resolution to everything at the end of the first game, why is there a second game to begin with? Well, here's a bunch of crazy crap that's going on, right? <clears throat> it's funny. It reminds me of like, uh, like the story of uh of Job in the Bible, and I know that you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but there's a story of a guy in <laughs> the Bible, who, like he tries to do everything right in life, and basically gets punished for it like no matter what he does things go wrong for him and he's like what the hell like if, if there is a god why am i being punished like this it doesn't make any sense why would i be so challenged if i'm doing everything right when i ever get some peace of mind some reward or something nice in my life he's just straight up talking about himself he's not even talking about the character in the game why is everything awful and that's literally what's happening now to ichiban like, these first three hours of this game is like, everything starts good, then all of a sudden, awful thing happens, 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 awful thing happens. It's like, what the hell? Like, they're really piling it on. Like, holy crap, man. And then, on top of that, there's just some weird choices they made with the plot, like a romantic twist at the beginning. And romantic then just twist? Right on its head again to add to the, the, oh, here's another bad thing that happened in the story. And it's weird, but I, I I get it. It's funny, but it's odd that it's in there. Um, and then on top of that, there's a part of this plot, and this is basically a minor spoiler for the plot. This is actually how the game sets up. So I don't feel like telling you guys this on the podcast is a humongous game spoiler, all right? <laughs> but this is a minor plot spoiler, so if you're interested in playing the game... And yeah, you this is going to be the segment. Spoilers, earmuffs, right now. Go earmuffs like this, okay? You should do that for the rest of the stream if you're a DSP fan, because, man, you're not going to have it nice. All right. So you're not gonna the like this. The way the game begins is that Ichiban loses his job, and his job lies to him, and says, "Oh, it's because uh, the budget is being cut down, and we just can't afford as many workers anymore." <laughs> but then come to find out, all his friends also got laid off from their jobs. It's like, how could we all have been laid off from our jobs at exactly the same time? And come to find out, the reason they were all laid off is because there is an internet slander campaign campaign against them. There's a content creator on YouTube, although they don't call it YouTube, they just but, think it's on the internet. But they got rightfully exposed because they're like former mafia and they were arranging like uh, shoplifting and stuff. Yeah, they, they, they got actually exposed for things they did. In this game, that actually made a bogus story. They took scenes from things that they had been doing, like take, take footage of this, take, you know, a picture of that and say that it was something that it wasn't. Misrepresent it as something that it definitely wasn't, okay? With no real evidence. And there's no way they could have evidence because it's not true, right? But these guys, you know, the cast of Like a Dragon are just a bunch of ragtag guys. It's not like they have a giant internet presence. It's not like they really have the ability to defend themselves, right? They don't. They don't, you know, what could they do? <laughs> so These former Yakuza guys, they need to make a YouTube channel and panhandle to people. And then they can defend themselves. Literally because <laughs> people have slandered them on the internet. These, this drama stuff. And it was funny because they actually said, so what is it, like an internet tabloid? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's literally what a ton of shit is on YouTube right now. A bunch of scummy tabloid people who have absolutely nothing to actually say about anything. So what they do is they literally make shit up. 
They take things out of context. They show pictures. They'll show video clips. They'll say, hey, this is what this person is, and they're awful, and blah, blah, blah. And it gets them clickbait views, and it gets them popularity. But the crazy thing is, and I'm going to watch this with the full context, he proves those people right in this very stream. He proves them right with that toxic as fuck segment that is coming up. And then the person who they're basically slamming is the one who takes the brunt of that and has to live with it somehow. And how do you do that when you're not someone of the stature of the person who's basically punching down at you, right? Well, that's the story of this game. I'm not kidding. That's literally the story of this game. And so they all got lost their jobs because the, basically the jobs didn't want to have negative rep put against their, their businesses because these people were working for them right and immediately i drew parallels i'm like so you remember what happened to me right you remember me working at twitch for so many years they never had a single problem with me in fact i was offered sponsorship opportunities they had me play games like choice chamber and paid me tons of money to play it and oh tons of money. money look at this they had me but it was so uh, notice how it was super positive when they gave them sponsorship opportunities and now everybody who gets sponsorship opportunities is a sellout in a shill and they shouldn't exist but when it happened to him, it was the best, and they paid him tons of money, and everybody loved it. Do all these different campaigns and things, and then just a few years later, I haven't changed who I am. I haven't changed the style of content I do. I'm the same exact— So if, if you're the exact same, then you're a hypocrite, because now you're shitting on everybody who gets sponsorships. If you changed your mindset, then that would be a little bit different. You would still be a hypocrite, but I guess if you're still the same guy, I'm sorry, Burnell. That guy— and they kick me out of the partner program. And when I ask them why, they say something like hateful speech. But then they I said something like that. No, they said hateful slurs. Well, they refuse to provide any examples of what I'm talking about. So come to find out, months later, I contact someone who actually worked at Twitch and they showed me the evidence that my haters the people who don't like me made a internet slander campaign. They basically packaged it all together. Oh, yeah, the portfolio of hate. I love that term. That's my favorite term. Uh, but also, like, I'm, I'm really not buying this whole Twitch insider knowledge type of situation. Uh, and also, that portfolio of hate is 100% real and valid. It was like... This like, bro, th these are your clips. It's from your channel. Your videos of things that you have said. Big epic, and I know people don't mind putting as much context as 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 necessary. Montage of bad moments of my history. A lot of them were over ten years before this time period, and all they did was made this edited, you know, here's the worst of Phil, and presented it to Twitch as if, look, this is a guy right now who's on your site in your partner program, but you know, look at all the things he's done, but it's not truthful. Number one, it's all stuff out of context. Number two... What is the context to calling somebody a mouth ruler? It's okay when Phil does it not when someone does I. As, as with everything else. As with everything else. It's stuff that's outdated. I don't do that kind of risque commentary. You, know, you, can, you can make a list of at least 10 things that he has done that he shits on other people doing current day. Some of this stuff was stuff from 10 years ago before that I haven't done since and I had publicly apologized for. Right? You know, so, uh, such as people working for you and you paying them. So, you know, you have a team of people that work for you. He has it. He does it. He doesn't pay those people. Next, OMG. Jesus Christ is literally my life. Well, I guess, I guess we got to crucify him first, you guys. I guess that has to happen. But yeah, we did Reacts. We did, um, what else? I mean, pretty much everything. Having sponsorships. Having, um, everything. Anything you can think of that he is doing. In, somebody else does he hates them for doing it but it it's okay when he does so literally that's exactly the story of like a dragon showing things out of context not representative of what's going on or who the people actually are but making shit up for drama's sake and now they lost their jobs because of it and i'm playing i'm like dude this is my fucking life this is exactly what happens to me on a daily basis this is literally me on the internet who just make shit up you know, they have never substantiated their claims of anything that they've said in these things that are ridiculous. You know, every Dog, what? There's a literal, like, a two-hour video of all the proof against him for the WWE Champions game and proving that this is indeed his account. And how has he substantiated that that's not him by just saying that that's not him?
but admitting that he does play the game. So he is very convincing, of course. Once in a while, he said, okay, we'll feel rage today playing Street Fighter, and he insulted some players. That's true. It's well documented. The footage is there. You can watch the footage on my channel for guys. Yeah, well, that can get you departartnered as well, because uh, there's a lot of uh, hateful slurs and harmful language in I that. I I heard all this crap 1,000 times before. Well, there's, there's going to be some things you haven't heard before, and they're, they're going to be turned up to 11. We're, we're building up to that. God's sakes, right? Who cares about that? Who cares? Um, the people that employ you, and you making them look bad. But the problem is the other stuff. Even though they're also hypocrites because uh, I think Amaranth just got banned and none of her bans last more than like two days. So she's going to be back tomorrow. That they say and do about me, that's completely falsified. But then again, they pay his bills. He got to play by their rules. Even if the rules are really stupid, he's playing the game. That they have absolutely no concrete evidence of it all. But they say shit all the time. All these crazy conspiracies they come up with, and YouTube allows it. YouTube just allows slander campaigns for personal gain. <clears throat> it's insane. Now, in reality, it's funny because, you know, by the way, how about... This is it. This is it. There we go. I'm just going to let it play first, and then we're going to go back a little bit and examine it in, in closer detail this i don't know what the fuck idiots are talking about with memes and shit oh it's like he's just like me i don't know what the fuck you're talking about i don't follow your dumb fucking memes so take your meme and show it up your fucking ass because i have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based just because i'm dark side phil doesn't mean i get to ignore fucking facts that the characters in this game are going through what i go through on a daily fucking basis shut the fuck up I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. There's people in the chat right now. Oh, he's doing a meme. Oh, this is cringe. Shut the fuck up and eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. <laughs> I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. <laughs> it's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are Eat going it. through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell you, me what are you I can't gonna make do? a factual observation. What are you going to do about it? What's going to happen, Phil? Everybody's clowning on you again. What are you going to do about it? Yell at your camera? Go for it, champ. Go for it. Please. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? How about you find somebody that is into that stuff so they can kiss your ass and lick your balls all day? Because it doesn't seem like your wife is into it since you seem so repressed. If you're making random people on the internet suck your balls and lick your ass. Whatever floats your boat, dude. And he got, he got so mad he got dehydrated. He needed to take a sip after this. <laughs> so yeah, let's... <laughs> We're going to go back a little bit because this is so good. And I'm going to go through every single one of these insults and how good they are. It's just a fantastic rant, man. It's insane. Now, in reality, it's funny because, you know, by the way, how about this? Uh, and I'm pretty sure if you look up the phrase, how about this on Pick Pick Go, you're going to find a bunch of rants like this. Because he starts a lot of them like that, especially when he's lashing out at his chat. I don't know what the fuck idiots are talking about with memes and shit. Oh, it's like, he's just like me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's because he's a, he's a boomer. He doesn't get the literally me meme, you know? I don't follow your dumb fucking memes. So take your meme and show it up your fucking ass. And then we get a fantastic sound clip. Fucking ass. Because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based. It's and then we get factually fucking based. Another fantastic quote. Just because I'm dark side Phil, even though it's it's not factually based, that he's he's twisting the entire situation to fit his narrative, and then he's calling it factual. Doesn't mean I get to ignore fucking facts. Another great sound. That the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily fucking basis. Shut the fuck up. And this is toxicity reaches. Peak levels, absolutely. This is probably the loudest he's ever been on stream. Because this, this dude is unhinged, man. Just look at his eyes. I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. There's people in the chat right now. Oh, he's doing a meme. Oh, this is cringe. Shut the fuck up and eat it. Eat it. What, what are we eating? What are we feasting? This is not the, the cat DoorDash segment. What are we eating? Come on, bro. <laughs> eat it. But what, what, 
<laughs> what is the oh come on man what is it even supposed to mean he is so rattled eat it and then again keep eating it is that how he talks to cat man I, people are gonna make the wildest edits out of these clips like dick stroke and phil vlogs is gonna have a field day with this he can get like two years of content out of this one minute is so fucking good Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. And uh, again, not, not to be nitpicking here, but e even if you mail me a spoon, I need to come there so I can eat shit out of your ass. The logistics of this whole thing, they just don't make sense, you know? You can, uh, then I'll, all I'll have is just a spoon. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. It's a fucking fact. And this is the, the crux of the whole matter, is that people fundamentally just don't take him seriously. And in this case, he believes he's like a thousand percent right. And he gets super pissed off that nobody takes him serious. And they don't acknowledge his complaints that are just like, I, I don't even know what they are. People don't take him seriously. That the characters And the plot twist is that they never took him seriously. People in the FGC didn't take him seriously when he was shitting up their forum threads and harassing the girls on the forums. People on YouTube didn't take him serious when he was sitting around in the middle of the night and cooking sandwiches and playing video games. People didn't take him serious when he started the KO Gaming channel that was like the fakest fucking edited videos with a fake narration radio voice on top of him. People don't take him seriously now, and they never will. In that game, we're going through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up! I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell me I can't make a factual observation? This is a, it's a five-star rant, man. It's, it's just so good. It's, it's like narcissistic rage. But at the same time, he's completely powerless to do anything about it. Like, what are you going to do? Just ban somebody? Do you realize how much ammo you're giving the people that hate you in this segment? Do you realize how, how good they're going to eat in the next couple of days? Do you realize that if Moist Critical sees this segment, he's going to clown your ass to oblivion? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? I, I don't know. Um, maybe we can talk about it behind the scenes, dude. Yeah. And I'm fucking pissed about it. And he's pissed if, if it wasn't clear yet. Because I see this shit. Oh, he can't say that. Oh, yeah? I can't say a fact? What fucking world do we live in that I can't say a fucking fact, you bitch? You bitch? Kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> this dude is the best. This is the best. He never fails to cheer me up, man. Enough is enough with this shit. <laughs> yeah, King be cruel. King be bitch. You gonna oh, whoa, yo, what the fuck? To say dumb shit like that in fucking chat and everyone else who said that too because people in the comments all my haters saying it in their I, I hadn't seen this one wait 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 because king b crew is an actual cuck he's an actual dsp fan and now he lashes out on him calls him king b bitch <laughs> so now we know what you're watching every fucking day right you dumb fuck shut the fuck up no one cares oh, you see and he just straight up calls him a, a secret low-key detractor God damn, this dude is so paranoid. The detractors are living in his walls. And, of course, clearly inside of his head. Your bitch-ass, memeable opinions. There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle-jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense, and no one fucking cares about you except your circle-jerking community. The yeah, but, you know, the plot twist, Phil, is that the circle-jerking community is much better than yours, and it's much bigger. So you're, you're getting ratioed every day of the week, dude. I'm sorry to break this to you. I'm just stating facts, you know? I'm just like him. I'm just stating the facts. Look at the numbers. They don't lie, and they spell disaster for you, Samoa Joe. Problem is there's too many of you. There's too many fucking idiots. And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you like it. Or you shut the fuck up. Oh, wow. So now, now we're just going to full-on echo chamber mode. You either like it or you shut the fuck up. Okay? Sound good. That's, that's a very welcoming and accepting person. Which reminds me of this one slide that he has.
about how welcoming and awesome his community is and how great it is to, to be a part of it. Uh, yeah, this one. This one. Get a load of this. A word from the king. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for being a part of this community. Know that this is a safe space for all, and you are welcomed in love for the perfect and unique people each of you are. Except you, King B Bitch. My streams have and always will be a place for fun, adventure, and friendship. You are what makes this community great. Dark Side Phil. He also had to attribute the quote to himself, even though it on top it says a word from the king. He just couldn't help himself. Where were we? Was it here? Let's see where he's flailing like a crazy bitch. It's here. Anything. Like, I literally couldn't even get an attack to come out. Oh, no. Shut the fuck up, dude. Remember, it was a very slow thing this week. Um, collection. What about it? Which is the main plot. I don't know any way, shape, or form, you know? crazy hype about sharing information and i'm not seeing that with tekken 8 bro get the Probably. fuck out of here where was the, the fucking eight the spurg out on two ship to someone else you've played it a lot more than me yes many of you oh yeah here it is there's too many fucking idiots too many fucking enough idiots enough with this shit it's time to call it out just because i'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean i don't get to make a factual observation <laughs> i can say whatever the fuck i want he's one of the most abused people on the internet <laughs> And you like it. And you like it. Or you shut the fuck up. You put up or shut up, bitch. You can't be bitch. You got a problem with that? Test me, bitch. Whoa, we're testing him. What do we do? A narcissism quiz? Do we do a sociopath quiz? Or do we do a general mental illness quiz? How do we get to test him? I think he passed every single one of those in this one segment in the last two minutes. Because I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm what are you going to do about it? What is actually going to happen, Philip? What are you going to do, Mr. Big Balls Burnell? Mr. Test Me Bitch? What's going to happen? You're going to ban somebody from your chat? Oh, Big Balls Man. I'm not. I'm not going to have people come in here on my streams and in fucking other videos and say, Oh, he's just, oh, look, you know, I'm like him, just like me and him. Just, shut the fuck. No one even knows what you're talking about. I've never. So, you know, this is the thing. Uh, and now, I'm pretty sure if I look up his Yakuza video, none of those comments are going to be on the actual video. And I'm sure it's here in the, on the third part, because this is when it happened. There's no comments, is there? Oh, yeah. Uh, there actually is. Look at this. So we got Kirby Gaming or something. Phil really pulling the he's just like me for real meme. And this has eight upvotes. And uh, then the next guy says, who would have thought Kasuga was based off of Phil in the game? LOL. And so, yeah, the, the two comments out of the three that made it in are clowning on him. And he let it slide. He, he enabled them. Imagine how many other comments he got that he didn't allow. Pretty crazy. I heard the meme before because I'm not an asshole. I'm not a fucking dumbass mouth drooling idiot. I don't follow the dunces follow on the Internet. It's my life I'm talking about. Right. And it's true. Follow the plot of this game. This is exactly what I've gone through. I've lost tons of business opportunities. I've lost the- I thought, I thought you declined them, Phil. What happened to that narrative where he was saying no to all the business opportunities and he prides himself on that? He was proud of being a one-man show that is completely crowdfunded so he doesn't get the sellout like all those other idiots that he hates. What happened to that? And now it's like, oh, no, I'm the victim. I don't even get those opportunities. But I thought you said no. Ability to branch out on the Internet as a content creator. You're, you literally pride yourself on branching out. We had a dick stroking segment yesterday about how much he's been branching out and how the trolls, they can't even be mad that I'm lazy. How can you call me lazy in 2024? I run three successful channels, bitch. Well, what happened to that? Now he can't branch out. Apparently. And again, everything to serve the narrative. The narrative right now is that he's a martyr and nothing is working out for him and he's not getting any sponsorships and anything it's, and it's all your fault. But when the narrative is that he's a super successful guy, then he says no to all the sponsorships and he's a crowdfunded individual with a community that loves him. People, hundreds of thousands of people will never check out my content. Because all they hear is conspiracies about me. So, in other words, you're saying that we're doing a good job and we should keep going. Because, yeah, I think hundreds of thousands of people should never check out his content because it's dog shit.
unless you're watching it to make fun of it. And if you're doing it for that purpose, you can go to one of the thousand channels that do that and enjoy it in a more digestible way. Right? The, what they'll do is they'll, they'll take this actual segment of my podcast out of context and just show, look, Phil abuses his viewers by swearing at them. And yes, that's literally what you did. You picked King B. Cruel and you called him King B. Bitch and you shat on him because that's exactly what happened. Yeah, you played yourself again, Mr. Burnell. You're suffering from success. Instead of actually showing the reason I'm doing it, that people are mistreating me, that people are, are being horrible to me and my family. And I literally showed the context, by the way, right at the beginning of the stream. I played the whole segment where he was talking about how the game is all about him. I literally showed it. Everyone else. And as much context as possible. Then when I finally call it out, oh my God, look, in the game it's happening just like what happened with me. Oh, that's so cringe that he would say that. He'd think he's such a big egotistical. Egotistical? How is it ego fucking tistic? <laughs> just <state of> fact. <laughs> you fucking buffoon. You are so dumb. And you are really smart, Phil. You're really smart. Keep being as smart as you are and... And, and you know for sure that the trolls are going to be eating good for life. I've gained multiple pounds throughout the duration of this segment. I'm, I'm as fat as Cat right now. Excuse me, I'm just making a factual observation. She is fat, indeed. Check out her body mass index. I, I bet it says overweight or straight up obese. Just because you don't like someone. And if you don't like me speaking facts, then um, eat it, eat it. Eat my ass and lick my balls and snort my uh, 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 nutsack. Doesn't mean that when they state a fact, the fact is wrong. That means you're an idiot. You understand? There are a lot of people on this planet I don't like, but they say true things sometimes, and you better wise the fuck up and listen. Or shut up about it, because no one cares about you and your drama community on the internet. No they one cares, but more people care about it than your streams, Phil. So if no one cares about this, then less than no one, actual negative amounts of people care about DSP in a positive way. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna sound like that. You don't wanna say that, do you? There's an entire culture of stuff on the internet based on this level of hatred, based on this level of hearsay and tabloid bullshit. And it's ruining people's lives. And mine is one of them. There is literally no fucking reason whatsoever that I should not be in the Twitch partner program. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> He's still coping over that. He is still not over Twitch because he realized he came to YouTube like it was greener pastures. You know, we're going to get back to prominence once we get the... The super thanks? Well, that didn't happen. Well, once once the, the shorts are able to be monetized, dude, it's definitely going to happen. That didn't happen. And now the gifted memberships are completely ruined by people that are just speaking Spanish. I don't even know what they're trying to say, but they're ruining the whole show for him. And now he's craving some Twitch again because on Twitch, things were better, man. But then he got, he got cucked. Never did a damn thing to deserve that treatment. But... A campaign of slander was held against me and those idiots at Twitch has unprofessionally stupid as they fucking are and now you're bri uh, you're built uh, you're burning your bridge back to Twitch you realize that and that's not just the first time this is like the 15th time said oh we don't want to deal with this drama so we'll just remove him from the partner program we won't ban him from the site here's the thing Philip Burnell on the internet if you make enough money nobody's gonna care about what you do Logan Paul went to Japan and filmed a literal dead body hanging from a tree. And what happened? He is now the WWE United States Champion because he makes a bunch of fucking money. Amaranth? That bitch's gonna get unbanned two days from now and she's gonna get more viewers than ever before because she makes a lot of money. So that's just kind of the game. I don't like it. I don't agree with it. I think those people are toxic as fuck. But that's the game. They're playing the game and you're on level one. Because I literally didn't do anything wrong. But as we remove, remove him from the program, now we have no liability. People keep complaining about this guy. Right? Snort. So, yeah, it's happened to me 100% concretely. By the way, it's on Kiwi Farms. It, when they did it years ago, they posted up all around Kiwi Farms about it. All the evidence was always there is that people want to ignore it. When there's evidence of all the horrible things that wait, have wait, happened Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Evidence on Kiwi Farms that debunks him or or like is in his favor you mean like the 
like the escort stuff that got debunked by Kiwi Farms. And now everybody kind of agrees that was fake. I mean, of course, because it was evidence. But there's also a bunch of other evidence, namely the WWE Champion stuff that is very much against him in a very overwhelming fashion. Oh, that doesn't exist. That never happened. No. So now we get to cherry pick stuff from Kiwi Farms. That's that's how much into semantics we get into this. We get to cherry pick Kiwi Farms. Anytime that I do something even slightly wrong, oh, here you go. Here's all the evidence of everything Phil's ever done wrong in his 15 plus years on the internet. That's not how it fucking works. That's not fair. That's you're a bunch of bitches. Every one of you is a little coward. Who? Cool. Really? You're all nobodies. <laughs> This is even crazy when, when you understand it's a dude most likely wearing pajamas, yelling at his camera in front of a background that the most prominent ornament says game over. The people who do that shit, you're fucked up. You're broken in the fucking head. Everyone And every one of you bitch-ass content creators <laughs> out there, well, all you do is talk shit about people all day and you call it the news. You're the most worthless humans on earth. <laughs> Again, taking shots at Keemstar. Speaking of Keemstar, uh, Wings left the LolCow podcast, or at least for now. Or I think it's, it's period, but you know what. Anyways. Right now? It seems like somebody's leaving that podcast every single week. If you all had finger snapped away by Thanos, no one would care. You're all replaceable. Every one of you has nothing to add concretely to this planet. <laughs> nothing positive. You're nothing but a blight on the fucking planet. You're a big hemorrhoid on all- Oh, dude, look at this. As we're talking about shit, we got DSP Gaming gifting 50 memberships. <laughs> this stream is so good. Of our fucking asses for trying to make a positive living and help people on this planet. Okay, let's, let's uh, flash forward to live. So this is minus 226. Let's see how he's going to react to that. Oh, he's not going to react to that. We're not reacting to that in the slightest. <laughs> Instead, we're gamer facing big style because there's an attractive chick on screen and a big demon guy. And they're all speaking Japanese. So anyways, what was it? 226? Where did the misinformation come from? Can they figure it out? Hold on. The main characters are harassed. You're the fucking problem. Get it? If you go away, the world's a better place. I want you to think about that. Well, I think the same thing about you, Phil. So I guess it's, it's just a, a never-ending conflict. It's kind of like a war or something. Except there's this much more of uh, whoever's on this yeah. side than on that side. I'm allowed to say whatever the fuck I want. Actually, no. There's terms of service that prevent you from saying certain things that can get you in big trouble, just like on Twitch. And uh, one might think that he's learned something from Twitch, but he didn't. So that same thing sounds like he's going to repeat again on YouTube. Especially when it's facts. All right? The plot of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is incredibly similar to my life in that regard. The main characters... Because, because you decide to frame it like that. I can frame the plot of any movie to be about me if I can do the mental gymnastics hard enough. Hell, I can make the plot of Barbie be about my life. Are harassed. Because I'm just like Ken. Because I'm hot and, uh, I don't know. I'm hot. Bleh. By people on the internet. Made up slander campaigns. They have no means to defend themselves. And now their, their whole world is in shambles. And that's what the... Yeah, but that's a very vague outline of what is happening. If you look at the details, it's actually nothing about you plot's gonna be is exploring what are they gonna do to they're just gonna go to hawaii try to figure out what really happened where did the misinformation come from can they figure it out right now i'm willing to bet that the rest of the game is not going to be a lengthy court case where they sue the parties for slander or defamation or whatever it may be because i always get those two confused right i'm gonna guess they're gonna go on a wild ride to hawaii and they're gonna beat the shit out of people it's crazy that this dude who almost on a daily basis talks about uh, the slander and harassment and uh, whatever the fuck the other one was, he always mixes them up. If only I could do that. If only right now I could buy a plane ticket and fly to Hawaii and beat the shit out of people in the streets and it would solve my problems. But sadly, that's not reality. And that's why this is a video game and not my life story.
And also, you can't beat anybody on any kind of street. Uh, because when people tried to fight you, you cried and you ran away. See? That's the difference. That is the difference, indeed. So, I am very much looking forward to the rest of this game and having fun with it with all of you and turning it into a lengthy, chill playthrough, okay? And yes, I'm going to make these parallels over the course of the game, and if you don't like it, you can literally suck my scrotum because it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was an original one. You can suck my scrotum. What your opinion is, it's a fact. Fuck off. You can suck okay. my scrotum. <clears throat> okay, are fact. we done? So... Within the first three hours of Like a Dragon... And, oh, dude, and we continue just talking about video games like nothing happened. Like, we didn't just witness a mental breakdown. This is like, you know what? This is like if you're staying over at your friend's house when you were kids, and then his mom just comes in the room and beats his, your friend's ass. Like, just beats the living shit out of him. And he's just sitting there crying, and then you just have to go back to playing Mario Kart, and it's super awkward. This is how I feel right now. But we, we kind of have to pretend this didn't happen for the rest of the stream to be very positive. And it will, okay? It's all plot. And I'm going to be honest, I like it, but I know it's not for everyone. I know that that's a, that's a game that basically because there's so much plot and cutscenes for a lot of people, uh, sadly, it's just going to be a situation where it's like, man, I'm only going to show up every once in a while or maybe I'll, I'll give it a couple tries, but man, it's too much narrative. And I hear you, you know? <laughs> this is indeed... So, it, it is indeed... Too much narrative. I'm gonna unleash the, the pop-ups now. I guess the thousands of video clips taken straight from his own streams on Memology 101 DSP channel are not true and are all taken out of content. But I, I guess to put him in context, you gotta play like uh, 40 minutes leading up to a toxic rant for it to be considered, according to him, to be in context. And even if that happens, he's still gonna nitpick the shit out of it to make it seem like he did nothing wrong. He literally... Is what happened on the side scrollers. He was threatening a dude and he said, I have your IP, I have your name, I have your address. And then Adam straight up asked him, Hey, Phil, are, are you making a threat here? This sounds like a threat. And he tried to like weasel his way out of it, but it just didn't work because he was talking to two pretty, you know, regularly well adjusted people and it just didn't fly. So he was forced to admit that it was a threat, but he was de denying it for the love of God at first. It was crazy. Hi, Maycat. First time super chat. Hey, big ups, I dude. want to give Phil my address so he can come and say this love to my face and see how long he would be standing. <laughs> well, that would be an interesting one. Make sure to record it. But I think if you give him your address, he's just going to send you a spoon so you can eat his ass or eat the, <laughs> eat the shit out of his ass. But then, like I said, that means that he should visit you as well and give you the spoon and then you, you do the thing. Because it just doesn't make sense logistically. It just it, it just doesn't make sense straight up. I stand corrected. Well, uh, I told you. I told you because the your first super chat was I swear I heard I heard all this crap a thousand times before, and I told you, man, this shit is this this is something else. It's a little bit different. It's more spicy. Big ups to Vince McMahon. Uh, no, we're getting low ups to Vince McMahon because he's a uh, he's toxic. He's very toxic. Very. That's not a fact, that's his opinion. Uh, pretty much, yeah. It, it's not a factual observation if you get to cherry pick what you decide is factual and what you decide isn't factual. Uh, big ups Ragnar Auger for the super chat with no message. A lot more than me yesterday. You know, I played it for three hours. She played it when I was doing the podcast. She also played it during my first stream. And Phil then is she making Gary Busey look normal, and that <laughs> takes a lot to do. I bet Cat just turns up her headphones and ignores this gigantic man baby because <laughs> want me a cat mop who. <laughs> Imagine hearing that from the other room. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. You got you got back to back pop ups that are saying the same thing. Imagine how Cat feels right now. She hears them upstairs being like, "Eat my ass, eat it, eat it, eat my scrotum, suck my balls." It was like, "Oh my god, here we go again." I guess he's gonna beat me after this. He's gonna have a decompression segment on my face. Alert. DSP is going full Ethan Ralph. Hollering pig roach. Yeah, dude, he's he's really close to the sun, man. One of these days, he's just gonna talk trash about somebody who who doesn't mind touching the poop, and it's gonna get real nasty. How long till he's chugging Maker's Mark and eating perks like candy on stream? 
Uh, I don't know about perks, but maybe we can go back to uh, the Skittles, the zombie Skittles. He still owes us a couple, so we can just catch up on that shit. But Maker's Mark, maybe. Maybe we just get Whale Tail again. Maybe we get uh, some tequila again. I'm on them Seattle Sounders so much we smoking Tampa times trill green this shit ain't nothing to me money uh. This shit ain't nothing to him as you can see he's he's letting him fly he's letting all all the insults fly like it's nothing man it's crazy I think they left those comments there just so he could go on this rent Why else would he let those comments through? But There's no other reason Cuz cuz he thought it was positive Serial with me I'll mail you a spoon Uh sure we can eat it over like FaceTime or something but that's that's the whole thing. He thought that those comments weren't really all that offensive or something, uh, or offensive to him because they're just not offensive in general. But then he saw that those are like the top comments on the videos. That comment had like six likes, which for the DSP comment section is like a million likes for everybody else. And it, it's just crazy. How is it egotistical to say a video game is based on your whole life? Zero self awareness. Yeah, especially when you get to cherry pick what you get to base it off of. During my second stream. So she's roughly this like. The reaction shows what is factual and, said, and what isn't. He freaked like this on something he genuinely believes. He never reacted this way to the bank leaks, champion yep. saga, and almost every other one like it. Because he lied throughout all of those. Oh, you, you know what? That love was so visceral. Truly incredible. You, you know what? That's a very good point. He never had such a visceral reaction, such a natural just rage at something like those other things like Champions, Bank Leaks, other stuff, because they were actually real and he was bullshitting his way through it. But this one, he actually believes this. This is a very good point. Uh, big ups, Vikes. And that, that bitch indeed was super, super... So community it it came from the heart. Arms having, diaper waddling, skin melting, I'm an alcoholic crying, cat baby talking, internet tough guy is calling others cowards and basically daring the trolls to do their worst lol I'm here for it. Dude, he's calling people cowards. He couldn't even show his phone to prove that all the bullshit people have been saying about him is false. He made himself look guilty because he's such a massive pussy. But remember, if you watched our stream on WPIG with me and ALT, where we go over his uh, forum posts on the Supercard forum, he had nothing against showing everything about his account. His name, all his cards, how he got them. He was giving people advice. Because back then he had nothing to hide. And now he has everything to hide. So all of that shit is off limits completely. And big ups uh, Junon01 for the sub. But the game really still hasn't opened up yet. A lot of it is still kind of uh, very linear and everything. And then yesterday someone on the stream had said um, that basically the game doesn't really open up to really feel like Like a Dragon until Chapter 4. Because that's the chapter. That's, that's a pretty good question. Do we have any estimates on how deep he got into Supercard money-wise? Uh, I don't think so. There was a guy on Twitter following him around and, and, and basically taking screenshots of his rankings on certain events. But the, the problem was... The last game was about getting a job. Just saying. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that, that might have been also uh, kind of close to heart. That's the thing with Supercard is that he was playing it super hardcore. At one point, he admitted to spending 82 hours in the game over the course of two weeks. So basically a full-time job. In Champions, he doesn't play nearly as much, so he compensates by spending money. So yeah, he didn't spend all that money on Supercard because he was legitimately trying to grind the shit out of the game. He was actually playing it. And with this game, he doesn't even want to play it. He just wants to get his fix. After when you could start selecting different classes and you can actually like customize your character and do all this stuff, um, which is exactly the gameplay that everyone loved from the last game, but get this. Now, as I told you guys, um, I am very interested in taking this mode. I think it's called, is it the, Do, the, Doka, the Dokan Island? It's the resort island in the game. Essentially what it is, it's its own version of like Animal Crossing. Yes, and as, as, as recent off. as yesterday, we have $1,000 of spending. This, this is an estimate. So even, that's the thing with uh, the TJ Gamebox estimates. I trust the guy because he genuinely plays the game and he has explained on our podcast how he does the number crunching, so I trust him on that. I think he is being truthful and reasonable. 
with his estimates, and they're still pretty pretty conservative estimates. But even if it's half of that money, imagine instead of spending a thousand seventy eight dollars, he spent five hundred and thirty nine dollars instead. That's still five hundred fucking dollars he spent in one event on WWE champions. Is still insane, even if you cut it in half. So at this point, none of this makes him look good at all. Residents who move in, there's businesses, there's all kinds of stuff that happens. It's fully cut. And again, the evidence against him is overwhelming, overwhelming, insane. Uh, especially when you when you combine that with the bank leaks that have you know a transaction to PayPal, sixteen fifty one, a hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents to PayPal. Blah, blah, blah. You know, they keep going on and on. And it's its own thing. Like, it, it does, it is part of the Wow, big ups DSP Gaming for the 50 memberships, dude. I, I saw you drop yours on the, on the official DSP Gaming channel, but it's nice that you spread the positivity. So some of the people here can also get those good benefits as well. Game, but it's designed to be its own thing separate from the main campaign of the game that you could sink a lot of time into. And reviewers have actually been saying that if you take it seriously, it's super good. Like, it's really well done. Um, and I thought all along, you know, because my wife and I love- And now we're just back to talking about video games, so we're going to skip it. Uh, the, the too long didn't read of this section is that the, the whole island part that he was intending on playing with his wife comes later in the game, kind of like 20 hours in. So, yeah. man. You know, I'm like, if, if chapter four is seven hours in, no, excuse me, if chapter three is seven hours in, then probably chapter six, no exaggeration, is going to be anywhere from 15 to 20 hours in. And that really sucks ass. It's like, God damn, I'm going to take that fucking long to actually get to that part of the game? That stinks because I wanted to do it with my wife. And it's like, well, how long are we going to wait? You know, the game's out this week. I, I already played three hours. I'm playing another two hours tonight. Yep, so this is this is basically the recap of the whole thing. This month, right? And the Q&A was fun, but admittedly by the end of that first... Oh, hold on. Now we talk about uh, how he, he was showing off his wife on stream. ...dreams of it instead. And it's like, yeah, but if I do that, what if I don't even get to it next week? So what? Mid-fucking February, we're finally going to get to this island part that I can play with my wife? It's like, that's going to take too long. And I know, listen, you guys love seeing Kat come on stream twice in this month, right? And the Q&A was fun. You, you guys love my wife. That's a, that's a strange thing to say, but sure. But admittedly, by the end of that first, uh, second Q&A session, we were kind of burnt out on it. Like, how many questions are you going to answer? Realistically, what we want to do now... I mean, how many questions are you going to answer when you pretty much do nothing else in life other than just watch TV and play video games? How many questions are there to answer? you know play some games and stuff together that's the better option to take here but man this mode why did they hide it why did they hide it behind so much you know what i mean like and i know that you guys are probably gonna really like that first time ever seeing us do co-op gameplay together and and having you know back and forth interaction in regards to a game and stuff and making those choices i think it's gonna be sweet i think it's really gonna be special but we have to get to that and it's like Am I just going to play Like a Dragon nonstop every day? I'm not going to get attendance on it. You know, already yesterday, I'm, so this is the truth. Yesterday, the Oh, so we're not going to do views on it. But, oh, okay, before he gets into this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen to it first, okay? Started off Let's be fair. Over 400 viewers. By the time we were done with the stream, we had less than 300. Phil, you just said in the beginning of this segment, way before the whole toxic narcissistic rage, that the attendance was great. You, you, you said that yourself. All right. We had a lot of support on that stream early on. And then once we finally hit, um, like, this, the game starting, we got a few super chats, and that was it. Like, everything that was coming in came in on the, on the pre-stream. And now we're complaining not just about views, about money as well. Fantastic. Uh, and also, yesterday, quick facts. And just I'm just stating facts. This is not, no slander. He got a 50 bomb from a, a guy that we've never seen before, so we kind of assume that's a sock account of a, a well-known pay pig. Then we get a 25 from One Minute Man, and I think he finished at 81. So we got $6 from the community that loves him so much and cherishes all this content. For the podcast, and it just dried right up. And I'm like, I know why, because these games, I told you, sadly, these JRPGs don't resonate with my main audience. And there's nothing I can really do about that. 
right? I love them, but I can't make other people love them. As much as I can play them and enjoy them and commentate over them and show my joy at playing them and, and really liking them, um, you know, that's the that's the level I'm at right now. And it's like, damn, that really uh, so. Let me guess, level one sucks. It does suck. And how am I going to constantly play this as a daytime stream when I can't even maintain an audience for it? Again, it's fine. And I mean, I guess you can say that he was trying to be entertaining uh, by his definition of entertaining, which is, I guess, singing and being super obnoxious and just running around the map endlessly and aimlessly, just collecting stuff without doing the story content so you can get over it quick. If I'm doing this as like a night stream, and we have like 200 viewers, but I'm playing a day stream with more viewers and we're getting overall great support over the course of the whole day, that's different. But if I play this as the day stream constantly to make progress so we can get to the island mode so I can finally do co-op with my wife, I guarantee you it's gonna be shooting myself in the foot, right? So I really, honestly, it's a tough decision on what do I do here, right? Well, I guess he so made the decision and the game is now on the late streams. It's been banished to the chaos realm. So, yesterday I love like like a dragon. I love the intro. We're still you in the it. intro. I'm hoping that we'll finish at least the intro segment tonight and actually get to the portion where maybe we get to Hawaii, which is the main plot. I don't know if we'll get there or not, but at least just to get out of these intro cutscenes. You know what I'm saying? I got to get the hell out of the intro cutscenes. I'm so stuck in them that I want to get to the actual gameplay of the game so we can actually have some of that. And I think at least then it'll feel like it's picking up a bit for people, right? <clears throat> So let's see what happens. But overall, I like the game so far. I am curious to see how it's going to perform moving forward. All right? Um, then last night was Tekken 8, Friday Night Fights. First ever multiplayer of Tekken 8. First time even really playing the game for me. Um, and all I did is I watched a few videos the night before. I watched a few videos about Paul and King trying to learn what their best... Uh, oh my god, no. Are. And basically I learned like one big combo with... Yeah, this is getting skipped. Because um, it doesn't matter. I don't watch his Tekken stuff. I don't watch his fighting game stuff. Unless it's super salty. The super salty stuff I enjoy. And literally, he just mashed buttons. So he's just getting punch, 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 punch. I couldn't do anything. There we go. This is literally all you needed to get from this segment. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Options, right? Um, and the other thing was that I was watching... Well, when I finished my stream, right? At the very end, I was saying my final commentary of the night, I was like, man, I really just feel like right now there's nothing great and fast with King up close. I wonder what his great, his fast up close string is. Because every character has a fast string of attacks they could do right in your face. And I'm like, what's his? And someone's like, oh, it's down one too. The most damning part of the bank leaks were the ones where he would say on stream that he had to go to Home Depot and then there would be a charge there the next day. Those were the nails in the coffin for me. Nobody could fake each one of those. Yep, and you got you got Bahama Breeze, you got all the, the, the places he he's a regular visitor to on the right days, on the days off. So it, it just checks out, man. Will wants to be an island boy. Maybe the Hulkster will show up so he can do stuff with him like a brother, brother. <laughs> maybe, maybe the Hulkster uh, should give his own address so he can send him a spoon so they can eat each other's asses and stuff. So down left one, right <laughs> that one. I didn't know that. I didn't use it once. I don't even know what it looks like. Shit. Now that they told me that, I'm going to try that. And if it's good, maybe that, that, that's what you start with. At the beginning of the round, you do it. And then after that, you figure out what you want to do next. Because it's all about mix-ups. Like, sometimes at the beginning of the round... Yeah, it's all about skipping. That's, that's what we're all about. And now he's on his phone? Is he on his phone? Well, now have finally upgraded from the standard... Oh, no, we're going to talk about memberships. I want to hear about the membership update, because it's going to be super positive. Not always. There's been a few that have been easy. But my god, remember Tekken 7? I actually feel like Arcade Quest will be the mode. Will we finish it? Maybe, maybe two plus hours. Okay. And yes, we are doing a React stream over on DSP Reacts. Okay, I there have we some go. good news in that regard. Okay? So basically, as you guys know, with all the fake memberships and nonsense that's been going on around here recently, it's been a nightmare in that regard. It really has. Like, all the really? shit going on. And I, thought it, I, I thought it didn't bother you, dude. What happened with that? Because the first day the Argentina membership has dropped, yeah, it, does, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me at all. Having to try to figure out how do I get stuff to work. And now it affected him to a crippling degree. With all these fake memberships and the like. 
Um, the good news is a good amount of people again we're calling them fake memberships from the standard membership to what's considered the submissions level membership and they've submitted their clips for the show so i checked this morning and as of this morning um i'm actually see if there's any more right now there is here's another one as of this morning because at first we have about you know at, at first he wasn't sure how to call them he called them like illegitimate. He called them exploit memberships. Now we're just set on fake. They're just fake. They're, they're not real. If you got a gifted membership to his channel that he didn't get paid for as much as he wanted to, they just don't exist. They're not real. There we go. We debunked. 10, mem uh, 10 ultra member clips, which is on par with what we usually have. Not surprised because ultra members weren't affected. But we also have about between 15 to 20 <clears throat> um posts from members and each one has two videos so it oh, so we like saved the business basically members and 30 plus videos from standard members or i should say submission members we're good we're good because he made people pay extra for the same benefits excuse me they get one benefit more that's basically you know we're we're back right we're back to to where we were and i was very nervous because remember it was a very slow thing this week um because of the fact that I didn't get the threads up because I had to figure oh, out the solution. King B. Cruel was a year plus member and one of the mods timed him out for 24 hours, didn't even get a DSP lean. Gosh can't figure out why he's losing members. And even if he's back, he's always gonna be known as King B. Bitch. Cause that's, that's how DSP named him. That's how he called him. So even if, if he comes crawling back, then he's a cuck and he's a bitch. ...to this issue with the fake gift of, the gift of memberships and everything, but it looks like the show should be fine tomorrow, all right? So, first of all, if you are still a member on DSP React and you did not submit clips for this week because you weren't aware of this whole situation going on, you need to upgrade from standard member to submissions member to submit a video for the show now. It is a couple bucks more expensive, but it, it makes it so that the people getting gifted memberships will not ruin the show, all right? That's a good thing. We don't want to have 500 people who were just gifted a membership for less than a penny submitting clips for the show and ruining it, right? Um, They're going to ruin so the show. Those who are legitimately supporting my channel and my efforts to keep making content on <laughs> it. I really, bitch. really appreciate that. But you just called one of your guys who's been a member for over a year. You, you just called him a bitch. And now we, we transition like 20 minutes later into doing prayer hands and being so grateful and so appreciative. Oh, wow. That's a totally genuine guy. Um, Imagine being able to set off somebody on a huge rant just by saying something that other people been saying, and he just shits on you, and then he pretends he's your best friend like 20 minutes later. That's just some bipolar behavior, dude. But if you didn't do it yet, you have to do it. You have to submit your clips by the end of today. All right? So basically... Upgrade today. It's prorated, by the way. And what that means is if you have an existing membership on that channel, depending on how much you have left for the month, it lowers the cost to upgrade. Because normally it's $5.99 USD. But if you just renewed, then it should only be the difference. So it should be like 2 bucks, right? Not a big deal. Um, and that will absolutely stop. Uh, people. You know what this, uh, this upgrade today reminded me of is this. This is a great fucking clip. This is a great clip. It's one of my favorites of all time. The primary way you can is to go to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dark side be Phil. the first and only guest on Roping with Rich. <laughs> they know where they can stuff the cook kitten. Birds. Hey, you already got figured out the name of the show, dude. That's a good name. I like the alliteration in all the names. It's, it's very good. So this is the great clip. This is it. He's talking about Patreon, by the way friends of mine who love my youtube content to please step up and support the effort how the primary way you can is to go to my patreon at patreon.com forward slash dark side phil and pledge today pledge today super super nice very good clip <laughs> i'm abusing that system right? pledge today right so that's good and hopefully you will submit i want to get as many clips as possible uh, I know it was a rough week. I apologize for that. I, I had things running smoothly here for a freaking year, and then these people ruined it. It sucks that they did that, but hey, it's life, right? You make lemonade out of lemons, you push forward positively, and that's what we're doing, and it looks like tomorrow's show is going to be a good one, okay? But remember, this is our last chance. Everyone who's going to submit clips, maybe you, you are in line with what's going on, but you just didn't get around to it yet. You must submit your clips by the end of today. By the end of tonight's stream, actually, because it's right after my late night stream is when I sit down and I make 
the playlist for the next day's show. So you must submit clips by the end of today. Okay? Cool. Okay, so cool. First stream Very cool. Be DSP, uh, excuse me, will be Level 1 Podcast followed by <laughs> DSP versus the Internet. Um, so there you go. Um, and then tomorrow night, more Tekken 8. It's going to be the second online session of Tekken 8. And quite honestly, it's probably still going to be Paul and King only because since we're doing narrative-based story mode today, I'm not going to get to focus on any one particular character to learn them. I'm probably going to play with a variety of characters Yeah, today. bro, this is like, nobody fucking cares. You're going to be trash eventually. Eventually, when people get used to playing the game and all the rankings have been settled and people are just playing in the rank that they belong, you're going to get your shit wiped up. Membership or gifted membership to someone else, those still count. Or tip. And he's going to be needing a spoon to eat shit out of his own ass. Because they're, they're going to body him. This, this shit ain't Street Fighter. Any of that will help a ton. All right? If you can, please support in some way. I really need to have a good end of the month. And it sucks that it looks like I'm being massively negatively, negatively affected by these idiots now. Right? <laughs> and I, I don't know how I could fix it. This is not a fixable situation. This is a problem YouTube has to repair. But wait, wait, wait. I thought you fixed it. I thought you fixed it, and it, it, it saved the business on the React channel, but now it's not fixable. It's just straight up not saveable, so you need to send them money in a different way. And I, the thing is, I know <clears throat> that as we get further into the year, with different game releases and also with ad revenue increasing, because ad revenue is going to go up again, right? It's going to be all right, but this is a terrible month. I can't be down that much money. But, bro, and again, we flash... To the TJ Game Box WWE estimate, and the estimate is at a thousand and eighty-seven dollars. Like I said, even if it's half of it, bro, you're gonna spend five hundred dollars on a mobile game when you really need that money to pay your bills. That's what you're gonna do. Well, I guess a, an addict does goes above and beyond to get their fix. And then I gotta try to pay all my bills and shit. It's like, oh, uh, this is. And not I think during this pre-stream, he also talks about WWE champions for some reason. And then he says, oh, "Well, I don't even care about wrestling." Yeah, dude, that actually makes it worse because you're not even having fun with this. You just you're just doing it because you need that fix. Be good. So again, anything you can do to help right now, greatly appreciated. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about it all day on stream. I hate even bringing it up, but it's just a reality that these fuckers messing around here have really hurt me in a bad way and it sucks because right now no one was expecting this to happen right so you can't really blame anyone but the fuckers who abuse this system <laughs> and of course YouTube for being lazy idiots who don't fix anything you you can't blame anybody except everybody youtube and the people doing it sure um, <clears throat> there's nothing i can really do about this it really stinks well there is something you could do about it that's what you did is you made your actual fans pay more Mr. Responsible says, yes, but how does this compare to last year? I <laughs> this is literally a troll. Mr. Responsible. <laughs> how are you going to take the obvious bait, DSP? How are you so fucking stupid? I'm down $1,500. <laughs> oh, don't you understand? Yes, there's always usually a dip. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now it's $1,500. I thought it was just 1000 It gets more by the day. Tomorrow he's going to be down 2000 Every year there's a dip this month that's expected because the ad revenue goes And late. he's he's down from December by the way. And December in DSP land and Gautopia is the most profitable month because it's literally the season of giving, dude. It literally is. Where he hypes up his Christmas event for for a thousand years. He starts hyping that shit up in November. And then actually when November starts it's the season of giving so he starts begging people so he gets an unreasonably inflated amount of revenue for that month and now it's January and the whole Argentina thing is happening and he's so surprised that his revenue is down crazy shit man this dude is wild he just spent $1,100 on WWE champions trying to get a gold Hogan lol. No, you're wrong. And again, you're spreading misinformation. Actually, he was trying to get the golden Vader, not the Hogan. He probably has the Hogan already. He needs the Vader. He really does. This. My problem is I always have member revenue and I literally have there no There you go. Debunked, idiot. Right Every member, except for the ultra members, there's like two of them. Every, almost all the memberships are fake. Everyone got gifted a fake membership. So I'm a getting fake. <laughs> right 
And you know, how am I supposed to operate a business based off of that? This is it's always funny when he calls them fake. When people actually get the benefits for the memberships and he calls them fake. One month you're you're doing everything <laughs> right and everything's going well and you make this month this much. The next month you're doing everything right. In fact, you're being told things are great, keep going. You made way less. Well, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't change anything. I didn't fuck up. This is people committing horrible things towards me. <laughs> and, you know, they don't care. They're committing horrible things by gifting members to his community. They don't give a fuck. They it's it's almost a war crime. It's a reverse war crime. It's like actually doing a good thing. I think it's funny because, again, anyone who can get away with this shit on the internet, right? It, it's like you're, you're, you're having a mission in Call of Duty that you're in the AC-130 and you're bombing people. But instead of bombing them, you just spread dollar bills. And, and they all get the benefit. <laughs> They're horrible losing. things, so, horrible crimes. That's what I mean. This fucking abuse that I go through every day. But, oh, it's the meme. It's the meme that he says it's like this. It's like, the, fuck you. No, these things happen to me and my family every day, and they're real. So it's not a meme. I think Maybe it's a meme. Maybe the joke in the fucking meme because you're the one sitting there behind your computer or your mobile device laughing at someone else because you're a fucking loser nobody. And no one gives a fuck about you laughing at a meme. I, I think they do. These people fuck with me every I think they also find it funny because you're the meme. Every day and I'm tired of it. Well, I, I, I don't think, to be fair, I don't think uh, it would be nice if you were the meme and people were laughing at you. But that's what they do. And uh, I guess if you can't weaponize it, then I guess you're just a meme. You know, I really am. I'm tired of this shit. I've had enough. <clears throat> so, again, if you could, please support the streams this month. All right? This week, actually. There's this last week. This is it. This is the last chance. Then it hits the reset button when we hit February. And you got to hope for the best. Got to hope that February overall is a strong month because I can't have constant ongoing months that are way low because of this bullshit. All right? So, again, anything is appreciated. All right, guys? Anything. Okay. How about a dislike? I'm going to drop one. Since anything is appreciated, then I guess the dislike is going to work great for engagement. Um, Let's just get to shout-outs here. So, it looks like Dan the Man had our first contribution today with a $5 super chat. Thank you for that. And then Big Mac did a $5 super chat. It says, you're hilarious. Use this for the shipping of the spoon to that guy. There you <laughs> yeah, you, you are hilarious. I agree. And during this whole segment, if you haven't noticed, he is literally vibrating. His legs right now are going crazy. They're better than any of your favorite drummer's leg work, man. This dude is going crazy on the kick drums. Go. Yo. Your spoon's on the way to your house, asshole. <laughs> oh, a gold Vader, my bad. That's worse. His standards are dropping. That does not work for Hogan, lol. Yeah, well, uh, I, I guess he might have got the Hogan. Because sometimes there's a really powerful card... Uh, in the game that's just not powerful in real life. So you can get some jobber that is like six stars, but you got to pull him because it's six stars. Thank you very much, Big Mac. You pull the, the six star Santino Morella, but he's powerful in the game, dude. What can I do? Okay. Uh, and two last names became a member this morning, and that actually was a new legit membership. So thank you very much to two last names. For the membership this morning um it looks like someone attempted to tip but it got flagged and this has been happening and this happens from time to time this is not something new or out of the ordinary uh every once in a while uh basically uh certain tips will get flagged uh-huh why is that reviewed and then they take a day or two and then they get released for review it's usually not a big deal at all um but in this case there was a tip this morning. Why are we even talking about it if it's not a big deal? Why do you need to explain this to everybody? It looks like it was a dollar. Oh, and it's a dollar. Okay, so it, it got to be a troll. And I can't see it. I can't see the information about it. When a tip can't gets flagged. It. Yeah, it is definitely a troll then. Basically, I can't see the message. So I don't know who it's from. So whoever sent me a dollar tip this morning, I'm sorry. I can't see it. It got flagged. It probably eventually will clear. Um... But l luckily, this is not a common thing. Every once in a while, little, a few of these will happen, but it's not a big deal, all right? Um, I did receive a $25 tip this morning. From One Minute Man. From one Minute Man. Thank you very much, One Minute Man, for the first tip of the day. Yeah, and what did he say? Some generic shit again about video games? He's trying way too hard, man. Okay. You're doing well. If you don't notice, One Minute Man hasn't really... 
Okay. Okay. What do you say? Well, if you don't notice, one minute man hasn't really said much recently, probably because uh, we're not playing Baldur's Gate. Oh, one minute man go. has a lot to say when it comes to Baldur's Gate. Yeah, but he still keeps pay pigging, so who cares? And now he's gone. Where do you go, actually? Okay, so one second, guys, because my nose is bothering me. I just want to blow it quickly, and then we're going to get to some Q&A. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're blowing the nose for a minute straight, I guess. Like I said, I'm going to try to see if I can beat it this stream. Well, f*** that now. The way, I, the way I see it, you know, I have a marathon coming up. We still haven't really figured it out, but I think we're going to talk about it a lot over this coming week on the podcast. The Super Bowl event. Coming up on Saturday, the 10th of February, right? Um, that would be a great time if people wanted to come by and help support. <laughs> so it's literally just a begathon. We can just admit it at this point. We got confirmation pretty much here that it's just a begathon. He doesn't give a fuck about football. He doesn't definitely care about this event because we haven't discussed it yet extensively, like with all his other events. And now he just straight up says it would be nice if people show up and give me money for the special event. So it's just a begathon. That would be the day to do it, right? Um, either support the streams now when you're watching the new content or come by the marathon and help out then if you can, okay? Um, but I don't want to do a special drop everything panic mode marathon. You know, I've done those before. No, I don't want to do those um, at all. I don't think that makes sense. Um to do you know okay so we're not doing an official begathon we're doing a low-key stealthy begathon uh, are we gonna pretend it's something else so it doesn't make him look bad but it's still gonna be a begathon because he doesn't give a fuck about football don fanucci says did you hear wings has quit the lol cow podcast looks like the project is dead already no if, here's the thing I here's the thing now we're gonna grave dance on the lol cow podcast I don't like talking about that stuff because I don't care about it. I yeah, but you talk about it quite a bit for somebody who doesn't care about it. Pay no attention to it. They try to, every time I mention it, they try to drag me into it because they really wanted me on that fucking show, and of course I didn't do it. Um, so I pretend or not pretend, but I tend to not pay attention to it, so I don't need to ever talk about it or care about it. All right, it's just drama. It's needless drama, right? Um. <clears throat> anyway, um. I guess you're saying that he quit. Did he quit? For real? Is it true? If if that's the case, I'm not shocked. Look at this. <laughs> I don't care about the drama, but did he did he really quit? Give me the gossip. Like, dude, just fucking gossip about it. That's all right. It's fun. Why do you care so much about what people think? Just talk about it if you feel like talking about it. Why do you gotta act like such a bitch? Well, I, I don't care about it, but, you know, did he really quit? Really? Did he actually quit? Do I get the grave dance now? Like I told you guys, that that was a show that was destined to fail. It's a piece of shit. You can't have a show that there we go. bullying constantly, especially the same people, and think that it's going to work. The whole idea is toxic. You know what I'm saying? It's that whole toxic idea of doing awful things, saying awful things, treating people awfully. Fucking, we are the lol cow farmers and we milk them. What the fuck? You're disgusting. Who the fuck would even want to say that about themselves? What are you, a fucking weirdo? You want to milk dudes on the internet? Well, there, I'm sure you could probably do that, actually. There's probably a good occupation for you out there if you want to milk dudes on, you know, on the internet. Yeah, but it's not, it's not literal milking dudes, so your, your joke doesn't work. Your joke just falls flat, because it's not actual milking. DSPN should do a story about how DSP gives away Q&A on his main channel, but paywalls it on a different channel for $3 and how wrong it is. Look, look, here's the thing. When he does it on the different channel, it's special because he gets to actually, actually, I don't know because you know, when he was doing ask the King, the whole selling point of that show was that he was going to come up with the answer in advance and it was going to be a very sophisticated and very well thought out answer. But now we just don't get that either. You know, it, it's kind of crazy. He quit because people talked about his PDF. Uh, well, yeah, I, I think that's why Wings quit because every episode they're just calling him a pedophile. Um, but uh, then again, I just watched like the first two episodes and then it got kind of boring because I don't care about any of the guys on the panel. So uh, that's that's uh, just me. You know, it's really weird that they thought that was good terminology for what they were doing. I mean, it's pretty fucking weird. I mean, anyone who would even say that and think, oh, that was an interesting, good thing to say. I'm like, OK, if you say so, you fucking weirdos. Right. <clears throat> OK, yeah. But I mean, 
This is like, he's like pretending like he didn't have a primetime lol cow segment 20 minutes before this. So he's pretending like he's completely clean. I haven't seen Wings or Boogie have nowhere near a, of a toxic a segment that he just had. He just had this. It's not even like a week ago or a month ago. It just happened. Oh, but anyway. Yeah, you, you just fucking eat it. You should eat it. I don't know anything about the show. What about Milking Hulk Hogan? Uh, Milking Hulk Hogan is meaningful, and it brings satisfaction to his life. So we can milk the Hulkster as much as we want. Pretty much. You know. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. My ruin says, just like Boogie quit, then he got down on his hands and knees. It's just marketing. Are you, that's what I mean. Like, that's why do you think I'm not going to talk about it? You just talked about it. Because I... And you... Continue to expand on the topic, so you are still talking about it. I don't care about it. Number I don't one, care I don't about, care it, about it. Even though I've talked about it extensively, sure. Number two, most of it's probably publicity shit. I mean, every week they're doing something desperate. You got one week, Boogie quit the show, but then he's on his hands and knees. The next week, Boogie's exposing himself on Twitch to get clickbait views because no one fucking cares about the guy. So this is the only way he can get attention for himself in the show. Now you're saying Wings is quitting. Did you notice the pattern? I'm a cat, Phil. You can milk me like me first. Uh, there we go. Well, Jasper the cat is uh, volunteering to be milked. But do, do you volunteer? Insta didn't agree to make people stop. Wingo L. Jasper the cat, do you volunteer uh, giving out your address and having people send a, a spoon to your house so you can <laughs> eat shit out of his ass? <laughs> Here. And yeah, Keemstar didn't agree to make people stop. Uh, Wings took an L. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, and I'm sure that Keemstar is just putting everybody in the line of fire because that's what they're there for. That's kind of what they agreed to. They agreed to sit there and be made a mockery out of them for profit. So why are you surprised if that's exactly what's happening? Do you see the pattern? <laughs> this is why you don't pay attention to it. Why would you even give that show a moment of time? Fuck that. It's probably the worst content on the internet, right? Well, it's it's... I, I would say it is better than the, the DSP gaming content. If you're watching it unironically, then the, the Lol Cow podcast is definitely better. Okay. I don't know anything about a Vince McMahon situation. I told you I don't follow wrestling. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I guess, yes. Dude, the Vince situation is insane. It's wild. This dude, the, the type of shit he did. Yesterday, someone came on my stream and said he's getting sued. Okay, I don't care. I don't watch wrestling. I don't follow wrestling. I deleted all the wrestling threads from my fucking uh -huh. social media. You still play the game, though. You admitted to it not even a year ago. Less than a year ago, you admitted to playing the game. Doesn't that make it worse? If you don't even give a fuck about the game, but you keep playing it because it, it tickles that itch, that gambler's itch, that addiction, it hits the spot. Yeah, you probably should be watching wrestling at this point. It seems like you like it. Why are you trying to run away from it? So I'm not inundated with it anymore. So he doesn't Lady know Green it, dude. Says, what week would be the best to send football content for DSP versus the internet? The fourth or the eleventh? Both. Both is fine. Both. Yeah. Either one. I mean, the week before the Super Bowl or the actual day of the Super Bowl. B U W T H, and with an L somewhere in there. Either day would be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I've already oh, when we got <laughs> we... <laughs> we got another gift bomb from DSP like a pig infinite debt with the 50 bomb that's gonna be a positive bomb look at how many people are becoming members yo this is the most positive stream ever <laughs> this is the best I played a million times why I don't watch wrestling anymore very positive stream. I already told you. I mean, not too time consuming. Not enough payoffs in the plot lines. Just becomes a big annoyance and a time sink. And I'm getting older. I don't have time for that shit anymore. To follow 400 shows and everything. It's just fucking super annoying. And I don't see the point. You know? Sure. All right. But you still, you still keep playing the game though. Joel Law says, are you planning to dive into other features like Arcade Quest, Tekken Ball, Super Ghost Battle? We're definitely doing Arcade Quest. I think Arcade Quest is my opportunity to learn new characters. Because you are, are going through a narrative mode where you actually earn currency to do customizables for your characters, which I want to do. I want to customize the characters who I play with. But also... Also, we skipped. ...goals and idiots for years... Wait, wait, wait. ...including old songs from old... Uh, as for the Super Ghost Battles, that's more like if you want to challenge yourself 
to, to AI, but you're not really wanting to go online to do online play. Like what I've learned games online. So I don't know if those guys will be there. Tito Man says, hope you enjoy the soundtrack. Uh, including old songs from old games. Sounds good. <clears throat> well, I don't care about... I, I'm, I'm serious about this. I don't give two shits about... He is serious. Or, he is super serious about it. wrestling, all right? And I don't want to be involved in it. Here's the other thing, too. Would you like me to be very honest about it? But here's the thing. I think Vince McMahon and Phil Burnell are very similar. As in, Vince McMahon is a guy who power trips on people. He exploits them for the personal gain of himself and his company and his business. Um, he has a scat fetish, apparently, because he took a shit on that girl's head that they were all exploiting. You know, Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis. So, yeah, they're, they're kind of similar, except Vince is actually able to afford all that shit, uh, which, I mean, it makes him way more toxic. Uh, yeah, if you don't know about the Vince stuff, it is, it's, in, it, it's insane, man. It's actually insane. The whole nonsense with these, these trolls and idiots for years harassing me about this fucking stupid WWE mobile game. I just don't care about wrestling anymore. Like, literally, I'm not kidding you. It's completely turned me off to wrestling. It's like, like, not only do I not want to follow it, invest the time, the plot lines are annoying, they don't they don't give you a resolution you like, but now, every moment, I gotta be fucking harassed online about shit that's not true. But you admitted to playing the game, Phil, not even a year ago on the Side Scrollers podcast. You admitted to currently still playing the game. In the calmest answer that he gave that entire interview, he said, do you still play WWE Champions? Yes. That's exactly what he said. So it doesn't really matter if he cares about wrestling or not. That, that, that's completely besides the point. And like I said, it makes it worse if he doesn't because he's just playing the game because he's addicted to it. And he doesn't even give a fuck about it. And it's, you know, I just don't care anymore. Like all the joy of anything that was wrestling related that was fun has been sucked out of it. And this is kind of crazy because they sucked out of the joy of his addiction and now he's just having an addiction. He doesn't even like it. It's not even a, a thing that, that is good for him. It's not even a thing that he enjoys. He just needs it. So that's why I don't give two fucks about it anymore. And like I said, I had these things coming out on social media, all these trends. It was always in my media feed. I said, fuck this. And I deleted all of it. And I turned off all the topics and everything. Every time I see it, I seriously block it. Like, I don't want to bother with it anymore. I'm just done with that shit. Yes, the late stream is infinite wealth tonight. That's correct. <clears throat> Oh, look at that shaking, man. He's going crazy. And the eye twitching, and he's touching his face constantly. This dude is like, for somebody who's been a, a public personality for 15 years, somebody who's been doing live streaming professionally for like, I don't know, since like 2017, he has absolutely no self-control and just can't make himself look good in front of a camera. He's always tweaking out, always twitching in some kind of way. He just looks like a crackhead. All right, any last chance, guys? Because what I'd like to do is possibly start gameplay a little bit earlier today since they said this mode is and, about... And what makes this worse is he likes to sell this stream as a chill, relaxing place. You can come around and have fun and just relax, lean back, and, and just chill with him. And this dude is like a crackhead. About three hours long. Um, what I'd like to do is see if we can beat it today in one sitting. That'd be great if we did. <clears throat> Does he get to play the game now? No, oh, yeah, he actually not does. Be a breeze because you have to play with all the characters. I blah blah blah. For a great, uh, a great stream and a great uh, podcast. Uh, oh, it, <laughs> what? It's a great stream and a great podcast. I'm sure he's just telling it because you know it's it's the marketing thing to say. Hey, what a great show we just had! Even though he had a huge mental breakdown in the middle of it, actually towards the beginning even. But I guess it's, it's super positive now. It was a great podcast. If you think this is a great podcast, man, you got nothing to say about the LolCow podcast because none of that shit happens over there. And those people are there specifically to be humiliated and ridiculed. And you're here specifically to be chill, interactive, and fun. And none of that shit happened in this whole podcast. And uh, tomorrow, obviously, I'll be talking about more about this. About okay. Let's quickly get set up. And like I said, I'm just going to run and uh, and use the restroom. Thank you, Spider Dijon, who gifted a membership. Yeah, that was a legitimate He's the one. He's friend who swears they don't listen to Taylor Swift or follow them. 
but knows all the memes, the songs, and the lore about her. Yeah, that... They're going out of their way to pretend they don't is cringe. Well, that's the thing with him. Back in the day, he used to be a big fan of wrestling, and he used to watch WWE all the time. He had that whole show, Smart Guys, with John Rambo. He actually used to care, and now he's just pretending he doesn't care, and I, I legitimately think he doesn't even follow wrestling. He's just addicted to the fucking game. And um, switching back to live... His stream does not look what? positive at all. We're having a day stream where the top tip is one minute man with a 25 and he's sitting on a total of $39 out of 50. This is not the positivity we wanted towards the end of the month. And of course the chat is having a field day because he got a 50 gift bomb by DSP Gaming. Very positive of you, Phil. And then he got one by DSP like a pig, infinite debt. So that's a that's a fantastic moment here for sure. He got a hundred memberships that somebody paid like a, a whole lot of two dollars for. What on earth? Anyway, guys, anyway, guys now? I hope that you guys are enjoying. I am. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying the playthrough, please consider maybe giving this video a like, leaving some comments, <laughs> let me know what you think about it, and of course supporting it in some way. And we're begging for thanks or a tip. I'll be back in part three for the finale of the story. I'll see you then. Yeah, are we gonna beg in between? I think we will, cause now it's like, like I said, thirty-nine dollars, not very positive. Okay, guys, yes, this is definitely time for a good intermission. Take a small break, cause I have to pee. And uh, a pee break. Again, just a reminder: if you could support the stream today, I would really, really appreciate. And a big gifted memberships are fake. Just so you know, I don't. <laughs> think we got a disclaimer. Just so you know, guys, like a pig, infinite debt. That was a fake membership. DSP Gaming, that was a fake membership. So just so you know, uh, I'm poor. Give me money. Get anything from them. They're literally like a fraction of a cent each. So probably out of the <laughs> memberships, I'll probably receive 10 cents. Oh, he got 150. I thought it was just 100. <laughs> um, so anything today is I need. I need to get the... Um, uh, the marked one sound clip on my soundboard where he says, we're totally fucking up their website. That was so good. I need to get that on the soundboard because they're totally fucking up his website right now. And there's nothing he can do but just say they're fake and that he needs more money. Uh, a super chat, a membership, a, a gifted membership, a tip. You know, when I say memberships, I mean real ones that you pay for. Not like <laughs> that you pay for. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> so let me know. Um, Dark Dark Maggot says the character design is really bad in this game. So busy, the simplest design, the guy in the suit is the best one. No, see, here's the thing. Now that we're at Tekken Eight, you're seeing all the different character designs over the years. I would argue the characters from Tekken One through Three are good. Then like Four and eh, like for example, Steve. He's such a basic boxer. He's not too interesting. Then like the the craziest ones are the worst. Like for example, Lars, Alisa. These are the anime-ish characters that they added around Tekken 6. I hate them. They don't even fit into the game. They don't even feel like they belong as part of the franchise. They're just so out of place compared to the other fighters, right? And then some of the characters from Tekken 7 are kind of interesting. Um, but then again, like you got Feng who was in there from Tekken 5. But then you got Leroy from Tekken 7. They don't even look like they're in the same game. Right? They look like they're two completely different styles of art. Yeah, I don't like, know, man. I, I literally didn't cartoony. watch any of this. And you got Leroy, who just looks like a normal guy. It's like, why? <laughs> it, that's the problem when a franchise goes on this long, and they're trying to retain characters from all these different games. You could tell different art directors designed each one. Uh -huh. So you got an anime-ish fucking weirdo android fighting like an android from the first one, and they don't even fit. Martial artists that don't look they belong in the right game. You know, it's crazy. I agree with you, like... Some of the characters still the look fact good. Like VSP has to exaggerate down from four cents per membership to a fraction of a yeah. cent. Yeah, is peak DSP. It, it literally Can't is. Be honest about that. Yeah, and it, it the, the the thing is, if he was honest, it's it's still gonna be right. It's like a couple of cents, so it's nowhere near the normal fifty bomb. But still, he gotta do the DSP thing. We gotta bullshit even more. There is probably the best new character. And then it's like other other stuff is like what is why is it still in here, you know? And the odd part is they actually left characters out from previous Tekken's that I felt would have been really good in this. Um, and then they kept characters in that I like. Why are they in it? It's so weird. But <laughs> so I I tried to debunk his whole thing about the the different art directors, and all I found was this one hundred percent xenophobic. 
uh, what I found was this. Uh, I didn't hear the the context, so I don't know if he was xenophobic or not. But I know for a fact he doesn't like the Japanese people, and I I do. So uh, what we get here is this. Who is the director of Tekken 8? Tekken 8 director Katsuhiro Harada knows Final Fantasy's Tifa is hot, but fans shouldn't expect her as a guest character anytime soon. Um, thank you. I mean, yeah, thanks. And he's, uh, his Twitter feed is really based as well. He's a really fun guy, man. I don't play this game, but seeing his tweets just make my day. They're so fun. All right, so very briefly, I'm just going to run use the bathroom. I'll be right back, and then we're going to finish up the story, the final hour of the stream. Okay, guys? Okay. And he's gone. I don't know. Am I going to stay to finish the story like Cody Rhodes? I guess I will. And I'm going to do this because an hour from now is when the Royal Rumble pre-show starts. So I might just catch that right after the stream. So that's going to be very fun. Uh, but I guess we have to wait for him to come back from the pee break real quick. Because he's taking a quick pee-pee. And maybe he's uh, sending out a couple of spoons to people so they can eat shit out of his ass. If, if you missed that segment, I, I guess we can do an instant replay. It's not very instant, but it's it's still kind of some kind of a replay. Uh, when was it? I think it was like towards the beginning of the stream. He was super pissed off. I'm so stuck in them. He was so pissed off. I haven't seen him like this in a long time. Probably the last time I saw him like this was the, the whole hateful slur segment. It was like, hateful slurs. You fucking, what was it? I even forgot about that. I, I'm just going to do a replay on, on that one. Uh, so we got a DSP hateful slurs. Uh, exposed. Then we got accidentally. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's this one. I don't use hateful slurs. I never have. Oh, no, this is, uh, hold on. Yeah, he finds out he was unpartnered. This oh, is three weeks ago. This I... is the goat. This is so good, man. This will forever live in infamy. As the day he found out why he was getting departnered with this little baby ass t-shirt that is way too small for him. He's <laughs> sitting in this scuffed fucking corner of a room looking like he's in a sweatshop or something. Wrote the Twitch legal team and said, I want an answer. Why was I kicked out of the partner program? And am I ever going to be eligible again to reapply for it and see if I can get back into it? Because this is how I was making my living. Okay? Now... As I said, over the last month, everyone speculated. Was it because Phil sent out a tweet and that tweet pissed off people at, Twi at Twitch and so they didn't want him in the partner program anymore? Was it because his trolls had said that he had doxed a fan? Was and look at this, this mocking shit, man. Because, like, the reality is much worse. And he's just mocking everybody that kind of had some kind of thought on this whole thing. And they had some kind of a... Uh, an opinion on it. Not what it was. No, all of these fucking idiots were stupid. Or was it because of the actual content of his streams? What was it that made Phil lose the partnership? And everyone has said t some different stuff, and everyone was wrong. And look at the whole face he makes before that, man. The smug-ass face. Or was it because of the actual content of his wrong. streams? Wrong. What was it that made Phil lose the partnership? And everyone has said t some different stuff, and everyone was wrong. Look at this whole face. He's so smug about it. But the reality is just hateful slurs. Everyone was wrong. Well, the thing is, people that are speculating about him are allowed to be wrong. It's actually okay if you're wrong speculating about him. Because he's the, the only one who has risked anything. He has, he's the only one who has any kind of skin in this game. Like, I can suggest all kinds of shit. And I can speculate all kinds of shit. And I can be wrong 90% of the time. Fucking sure. Because it doesn't fucking bother me. It only bothers him. Wrong. Not one person was right, including me. I was wrong. And he was wrong. And he just mocked everybody who was wrong. <laughs> he was wrong himself. <laughs> what a I, fucking I idiot. I was speculating reasons. All right? And I was completely wrong as to why this happened. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the email from Twitch Legal. Now we're going to read that email. Yeah, I am right now. I am furious. He's right furious. Now. Furious. Furious. This is such a great segment. That is the least of the, of the way that I can describe this, how angry I am right now. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> Dear Dark Side Phil, thank you for your message. Oh, yeah, two weeks later. 
The reason the balance was paid on, on or around May 15th, which I told you guys, on May 15th, when I got paid, I showed you all the evidence. I did get paid by them for what they owed me for as much as I had earned on the partner program until they kicked me out on April 21st. He said, that's Twitch's standard payment period, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, here we go. Word for word, reading out of the email. Oh, wait. We got a huge bag right now? Hold on. Okay. Let's finish. It's not doing. Uh, I'm going to finish it later. Just let's let's just April stick with 21st, this. April 21st, 2021 correspondence to you. Twitch exercised its right to terminate the content licensing agreement dated November 25th, 2016. That's when I had signed the, that contract when I had come back to Twitch in 2016 after streaming here on YouTube for two years. With respect to your Twitch account, Darkside Phil, the agreement pursuant to the terms therein. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get ready. And he's acting like this is so unbelievable that it's insane that they suspended him for this. Specifically, Twitch terminated the agreement following its investigation of repeated instances of inappropriate conduct involving hateful slurs in violation of Section 4.2.7 Appropriate Conduct Agreement. And and here here is where it gets. Peak entertainment. What the fuck are you fucking talking about, you lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shit? Hateful slurs. Hateful slurs. What hateful slurs do I use on my streams? <laughs> what? what hateful slurs? This is always good, man. I should have this as my alarm clock for the day, so it it sets my day off on a positive note every single day. Doing that well, it's like hold on. Over a Here we're gonna beg. Oh yeah, we're legitimately gonna beg right now, legitimately. So he's back and immediately, immediately. Chilling. He's running around the house. He tried to sneak in here twice. I had to try to like dodge and get him, <laughs> get him to not come in here. Um. Again, I would love to have him in here. The problem being, if he comes in here, he wants the door open. If I close the door, he freaks out and just pause the door till I let him out. And I can't have the door open because number one, my my voice would echo and boom through the house, and my wife would hear it constantly. Oh, dog, we too, legitimately don't give like a fuck. A dragon. I don't want to hear and get spoilers, right? So he's gonna hear spoilers. There you go. Anyway, um, thank you, Grim Ripper. How's it going? Good to see you, Grim Ripper. Re up in their their membership for twenty seven months. Says, what's up? How's everything going? Well, we are enjoying the story mode of Tekken Eight. It is weird. So far, we've had crazy anime parallels. We've had a Musu-style Dynasty Warriors fight, right? And now we're in what appears to be like almost like a combination of Star Wars and other things here near the end. Um, but I am enjoying it. I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, and thank you for that. And anyone, guys, again, la I really last time I'm going to mention it because at this last point, time uh, this is the last time he's going to beg. Keep in mind, uh, I kind of give up. But if you could support the stream today in some way, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I really need to have a great week this week to make up for the fact that I have so many <laughs> fake gifted memberships on the channel that I don't get paid for. No one renewed their membership this month. So there's no exaggeration, over $1,000 of lost revenue that I usually make that I'm not making this month. And I, I thought it was 1500 not do anything wrong. Someone's abusing the YouTube system. So I'm getting no memberships anymore. All right. So it would be great if you could support the stream in another way, especially if you had a membership and, you know, let's say you wanted to renew it and it's already auto renewed for free if you could do a super chat if you could tip anything uh and the, the bummer about this is i know for a fact the like a dragon streams probably aren't going to do that well <laughs> here we are doing this <laughs> he's already pre-ordering begging on the night stream it's been pre-ordered you guys story of tekken 8 he got the deluxe begging edition and also speaking of deluxe he got the 110 dollar edition of like a dragon it's not doing that well it's like it sucks. I hate fucking talking about this. And people are like, well, then why do you? Because if I don't, then no one knows what's going on, and I'm screwed. How am I supposed to operate a business when these people keep finding fucking illegal and illicit ways to fuck with me? You know? So I don't want my whole business to fucking be fucked up for months now and go under because of this shit. So if you could support the stream today in any way, I would appreciate it. Okay? <laughs> in a nice little sip. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> Let's finish the story, shall we? Let's finish the story, Cody Rhodes. The PUBG streams have so much legendary gold dust. You know what? PUBG, Minecraft, um, the fishing streams, 
and uh, a little bit of Disney Dreamlight Valley and Warzone. That's where you go if you need good style gold dust. Because when when he was playing those lazy ass games, oh, and uh, that's that's right, down forward punch the MLB streams as well. MLB the show. And all of those lazy ass games, he was just bitching about his life. Half of those streams are just him crying about the issues he's had at any given point of his life. It's insane. No one renewed their membership this okay. month. Literally seconds <clears throat> after shouting out somebody for renewing their membership <laughs> for 37 months. Right? <laughs> But he's not a new guy, so he doesn't count. Imagine if the only reason Cat is an actual gigantic forking slovenly foster scans perm whale is because she stress eats whenever All she right, hears ready? him Here begging and being toxic on stream. Very viable oh, and just a possible and factual observation. You know what? It, th that might be viable because the, the chewing sounds block out the sounds of him telling people to eat his ass and suck his balls on stream. So that's the only way she gets to block him out. She probably doesn't even have headphones. So it's just like, oh, well, the, the guy is on it again. I, I better shove something in my mouth to make him shut up. And final part of the Tekken 8 narrative base. And, and look at how hype he is when he starts the stream. When he starts the actual recording, that is. All right, ready? Here we go. Are we ready? I just begged my ass off. What's up, everyone? Hello, this is everyone. Phil here. Phil here, and welcome back to the <laughs> third and final part of the Tekken 8 narrative-based story mode, The Dark Arisen, I believe it was called. Um, Whatever. So, we're having chapter 12 out of 15, and so far it's been a wild ride with all kinds of zany stuff, anime parallels, Musu-style combat from, like, Dynasty Warriors, which I didn't expect, and now it seems like we're heading into the end game. Sure. Um, Again, very reminiscent now of Star Wars, where Luke goes to Dagobah and starts having visions to teach him about who he is and everything. And now here we are. Jin is sleeping in the tree where he used hey, to... Hey, shout out to mother. Jin. And now he's gonna. Uh, sounds like he's about to have uh, some kind of a vision of his mom, Jun Kazama, which might explain why she's a playable character in the game. I guess we're going to find out. Let's continue. Here we go. Yeah, let's just skip the live. And I'm going to turn on his chat. Okay. All right, Jade, no problem. Enjoy. What did Jade says? Oh, yeah, Jade says, I don't know. See me ton watch rumble, okay? Um, okay, Jade. Jade's also going to be watching the rumble. And again, we're going to get to watch it on the same illegal stream I'm watching it on. Fight. Now you're devil, Jade. Also, what difficulty is he even playing on? Oh, I got the shitty ass layout. Hold on. Oh my god. The fuck? Oh my god, he's got a hundred like flying kicks. Oh yeah, look at that. What the hell? He healed health back. And he's playing this on normal? I mean, come on, dude. You're a former pro fighting game player, and this is just a story mode to a video game that is a fighting game. Oh, this shit's gonna get super boring real quick, man. Me. I win. Me. Just look at the faces he makes. It's just like a, a stone face. Champion fights. Not even like a reaction. Rage R to count it during the story. What? Why are you gonna pause it here, dude? So is this true Devil Jin? Because that looked different. That was a different animation, right? Oh, at least he's playing this one in Japanese. But he doesn't read the subtitles, so um, people like Super Blind Man have nothing to go off of. They just need to learn Japanese. Jin, Jin Except Super Blind Man is not even watching him anymore. You got better stuff to do. Paul, Paul Phoenix. Oh shit, it's the wrong thing. I still think somebody's gonna swing by and, and give him the whale bail 
so he doesn't cry about it at least get him to like 50 dollars because this is just poverty man this is just like lunch meat sandwich level of support he's gonna have to start wearing the gaming shirts again he's not gonna be able to afford this nice so he's letting devil be part of him, but not control him which is the whole point Yeah, I mean, it, it would definitely level down his sexy level, but come on. Oh, look at that. He has one white wing and one black wing. So he's like the yin-yang, right? The duality of man. Finish chapter 12. Silver trophy for that. <laughs> Okay. Do we get to vibe check every single trophy he gets? Like, those don't even matter. You're playing, like, a, a story game. Damn, look at this. It's just like an anime. <laughs> Doesn't he has 380 that automatically renew? He's a lying face. Oh, he does, yeah, but they don't count because they're real. And uh, we take them for granted. They don't get appreciated at all. Just like, uh, who was his name? Alex King Bitch. B Bitch? Yeah, that guy. And no, I'm not calling him like uh, like that because I decided to. That's how <laughs> Phil calls him. Oh, I couldn't King resist his Bitch. hair. Anime hair. You know what? I'm actually boycotting this gameplay. This shit is trash. Let's watch him melt down again. Is it here? He's roughly like maybe six, seven hours in. Is it A lot here? of people are just flubbing it. You're spamming. Is it here? No good reason. <laughs> like, why was that so hard? Is it here? Um, <clears throat> let's try again. So anyway, now he's gone. Oh no! Now he's playing the game. Hold on, I skipped way too much. I think it's here. Look at this. Let's let's judge it by the face he's making. Let's see if he's making a good face here. I think he is. Is this the one? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't follow your dumb fucking meme. Exactly. So take your meme and show it up your fucking ass. Because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based. Just because I'm Factually fucking based. That's what I'm talking about. DSP is now factually based. Red pill doesn't mean... And red pill. And he's pig pilled. I get to ignore fucking facts that the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily fucking basis. Shut the fuck up. Look at how fucking salty he gets, man. This is not even salt. This is like you're overdosing on something. I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. There's people in the chat right now. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Oh, this is cringe. Shut the fuck up and eat it. Shut the fuck up. Like, this is the one part of the rant where I'm confused. What are you supposed to eat? Like, you're supposed to eat it? Like, what? And, and he's talking about his chat. It's not even just the trolls. It's just the people that like him. Just it, eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want <laughs> And he doubles down on the eating part. Like, what are we supposed to eat? I'm going to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. Oh, there we go. He tied it up. It makes I'm sense now. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. It's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up. This, this whole segment has profoundly incredible levels of viral capabilities right here. This one clip, if it's clipped by the right guy and it gets seen by the right guy, this has potential of like a million views. Because uh, imagine that you're an outsider. You know nothing about this. You look at this dude. He's dressed up like a homeless person who happens to have a house. You see this whole layout that looks like a, an actual child made it. You see the whole backdrop that is just so scuffed. It looks like a, a Romanian gypsy flea market. You see the big game over sign in the background. And this dude is just yelling at you. He's just going viral. He's just going rabid, insane, crazy. He's cutting the promo of his life right here. How is this not viral? This is insane. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell me I can't make a factual observation? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? 
There we go. And now we just jump on to sexual harassment. We got the we got this play from the Vince McMahon playbook. Why don't you just fucking lick my balls and I get to shit on your face, okay? Then we take a nice sip because we need to refresh. Because he overheated. Yeah. And I'm fucking pissed about it. And uh, if you couldn't tell, he is pissed. I see this shit. Oh, he can't say that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you actually can't. You're not really allowed to say that. I but I mean, of course, the, the YouTube terms of service are made out of uh, plastic straws in uh, paper mache. You can't say a fact? What fucking world do we live in that I can't say a fucking fact, you bitch? You bitch? Piss my fucking ass. <laughs> It's so good, enough man. Enough is enough with this shit. Yeah, King be cruel. King, King be bitch. King be bitch? That's that's all he could come up with. King be bitch? You're gonna say dumb shit like that? Why, why didn't he call him King be drool? And fucking chat. And everyone else who said that too. Because people in the comments, all my haters saying it in their videos. So now we know what you're watching every fucking day. Right? There you, you go. You dumb fuck. You dumb fuck that's been supporting him for like two years. But uh, disregard that. He's a troll now. King be drool. Shut the fuck up. No one cares about your bitch ass meme bill opinions. There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense. What? And no one fucking cares about you except your circle jerking community. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great promo, but since he's a heel, if this was the WWE, they would hit him with the what chant. So it would be like, eat my ass, what? Suck my balls. What? And then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense and no one fucking cares about you except what? your circle jerking community. The what? problem is there's too many of you. What? There's too many fucking idiots. What? And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. What? Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. What? I can say whatever the fuck I want and you like it. What? Or you shut the fuck up. What? <laughs> this is so good, man. Now, you got a problem with that? Crazy Test shit. me, bitch. And what's gonna happen? Like, actually, how about, how do we even test him? How do we test him? You piss him off even more? So he gets himself banned off of YouTube? Because I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm not. I'm not gonna, gonna do about it here on my streams and in fucking other videos and say, oh, he's just, oh, look, you know, I'm like him, just like me and him. Just, shut the fuck. No one even knows what you're talking about. I, I can test him anytime I feel like it. I'm testing him now. I've never even heard the meme before because I'm not an asshole. I'm not a fucking dumbass, mouth drooling idiot. <laughs> you kind of sound like one, though. I don't follow the dunces follow on the internet. It's my life I'm talking about. <laughs> this is such a good rant, man. This is like a, it's a top five. It might be recency bias because it literally just happened like three hours ago, but it, it's a top five. Right? And it's true. Follow the plot. You know, uh, if, if you had to rank them, let's come up with five good DSP promos like this. We get the mark my fucking words, and I'm actually going to start pulling them up. Let's see if we can find out which one is the best. Let's, let's actually do that experiment. So we got first, we got DSP coming for you. I'm going to play all of them that I can think of. So this one is the longest one. I was suspended because of a digital millennium copyright. Big ups for the, for the gifted membership, dude. Uh, JE5150. Thank you. Back strike. This one is legitimate, you guys. Fuck this shit. Oh, no, you didn't, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming I'm for coming you. For you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna find, find out where the, the fuck, fuck you are. are. You motherfucker. You're gonna send me false copyright takedowns against my Twitter account. Excuse me, my Twitch account. You are fucked. Let this be noticed live on the internet. You're fucked. I'm gonna talk with Twitch about this. I'm gonna make sure this doesn't happen again. And you are done. I am not gonna let these motherfucker try to fuck with me in my livelihood. No. Absolutely, positively fucking no. You're not gonna shut down my fucking stream. You're not gonna put my life on pause because you're a little dingleberry piece of fucking shit. <laughs> dingleberry. <laughs> ass of everyone else who's a responsible human. You're not gonna get away with breaking the fucking law and doing this shit to me. You're done. I'm so pissed right now. Okay. Okay. 
And uh, then he got distracted on his phone. But let's play a game, you guys. What do you think happened after this segment? And I'm going to give you a 30 seconds to think about it. Or actually less than 30 seconds. Let's, let's, let's go for 10. What do you guys think happened after this promo? If you answered nothing, you are correct. Absolutely nothing happened after this. Uh, another one that I can think of is uh, the one that I just played. I'm not going to play it again. The Hateful Slurs promo. That one was pretty good as well. But I don't know if that was top five. It's very quotable. It's very funny. It probably is top five, if I got to be honest. But this one goes on there as well. I'm coming for you. At some point, I knew this almost word for word. It's such a good one. Uh, of course, we got the one from today. That's also kind of recency bias because it just happened. Uh, we got, what else would qualify for a promo? Um, help me out with this, chat. I think maybe the King of Suffering one would, would count. I think that one would count. That kind of sounded like, a, oh, but now uh, WPIG got all of them. Hold on. Uh, where do we get a King of Suffering? Or maybe... Yeah, we got it here. Of course, now we got to get someone in the stream. Oh, he has the Pokemon laziness rant. Thank you, Tony. That one is really good. I'm going to cue that up while After we listen to this one. To turn their own personal uh, story into, you know, derailing the chat. And I'm not going to put up with it. So I'm just going to warn you right now. You know, War Dog Leader, there's no way for us to know if what you're saying in the stream chat is legitimate or not. You could be someone completely making stuff up or you could be completely legitimate. Appreciate the sentiment and sorry to hear about a family member that passed away. But no one wants to hear you make this about how I'm in the wrong for being stressed in my life because you have a situation that's worse. Um, that's ridiculous. Go run your own stream if you want to do that. We don't, you know what I mean? Like he's trying to make me look like a villain because he says someone passed away and he's doing better than me. Wow, well good for you. Maybe you're a stronger human than me then. Maybe you're a better person than me. Good for you, go run your own stream and everyone could go watch it. This is my stream, people want to know why I wasn't here and I'm being honest. Enough of this. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Everyone wants to turn life into like a competition. I'm better than you, right? It was like I was saying earlier, someone in the stream chat was like, well, Phil, I know you're not feeling good, but if it makes you any feel better, I've, I've been crapping my pants out all day. Like I can't stop crapping. I'm sick to my stomach. And I said to him, you know what, dude? You know, some people, that may actually make them feel better. To me, it doesn't. To me, it actually makes me feel like I don't, I don't take pleasure in the suffering of others, right? In a nice little snort. I don't uh, take pleasure in the suffering of others. I'm not that kind of a person, right? So when people want to compare sufferings and compare life situations, it's like, wow, you're the king of suffering. Good for you. No, I'm just sharing. I'm being honest with you about what's going on. And I'm not going to have someone come in here and I'll try to make me look fucking bad on a stream that's my gameplay stream that's for me to share my my what's going on with me with you. Oh, well, my life is worse than yours and I'm better than you. Well, good for fucking you. Go on your fucking pedestal. You know, go bronze yourself and make a fucking statue to your <laughs> Go bronze yourself. When you have something to So you can look like a wrestler. Make sure to pack up some baby oil as well so you're nice and greasy so Phil can like you. Worse than what's going on with me. Like, what the fuck? Seriously. Go hit that tanning bed. Get the fuck out of here, man. That is so fucked up that people would do that. <laughs> you know what, officially for tonight's stream, you are the king of suffering. The fucking PlayStation 4 theme music, man. And you know what's worse than this? You know what's worse? It's actually having sex to this music. You know, if you happen to have this, I, I have this experience before where you're right in the middle of this and you were, I don't know, fucking watching Netflix before that on the PlayStation. And then you just click to the dashboard and you're right in the middle of action and you can't turn it off. And it's the most obnoxious thing ever. It's the worst. <laughs> you're the king of suffering. Good for you. Thanks for coming in and making yourself, propped yourself up on my stream. We really needed that, really. Unreal. It would have been one thing if he comes in and he says, oh, you know, recently I lost someone, and so I kind of feel where Phil's coming from because he's going through tough stuff too, and, you know. No. Oh, well, I, I'm, I do better than Phil. Well, f well fuck off. <laughs> no one <cares>. Seriously. <laughs> That's a really good chat comment, dirty rotten scoundrel. Just use your other hand, Meerkat. I get it, this dude. I appreciate it. That's a good diss. That's a good one. 
I hey, give here it we to go. you. Here come the trolls. Well, I knew we were going to be here, too, because you know the trolls would always be here when I come back from when I'm not feeling good. So There we go. Another one I have queued up alongside the, the Pokemon Rand, but this is the one that I thought of, is the I have depression one. Hey, stupid. I have depression, you dumb fuck. I actually have it. I know what it feels like, all right? So if I know what it is, do you think I'm going to give bad advice about fucking depression? I didn't give the guy any advice. I made a joke about Street Fighter VI. You're a fucking idiot. Get fucked. Get fucked. This is another, like, a, a top five. Top five promo of all time, man. It's incredible. You stupid loser who thinks you know anything about anything in real fucking life. You know nothing. You're the epitome of a waste of life to try to take an out of clip, <laughs> out of context clip and say that I said... Uh, but... Okay, something that drags this down is that he stumbles on his words. So when you stumble on your words during a promo, that's when, uh, that's that's when the crowd gets to take over the stream. You know, the crowd takes over the show, and then you get the what chance, and you know it's bad. So is his chat tweaking out about something? What happened? Something happened, I guess. Uh, let's let's give him a a quick a quick recap of what just happened. Maybe he begged or was super toxic. Or maybe just lost in the game. I guess nothing happened. Uh, there we go. Something bad about depression when I fucking have it. Get fucked, really. No, really. Go fuck yourself. You're a loser. You have no power over anyone on this planet. If you disappeared today, no one would care. Straight up just telling people the the LTG monologue, but in a roundabout way. That's the truth of the matter. That is so the truth of the matter. So go make as many clips as you fucking want with your loser circle. There we go. Okay, so that's what I mean. When all people do is they take thing, the negative out of context, or they do whatever they can to make you look bad, that's what happens. So what they'll do is they'll take what I just said, that clip I just did, and they'll take it out of context. And they'll say, you see, well, why did Phil say that? Oh, it doesn't matter why he said it, but here's what he said, right? I said it because someone did something incredibly heinous. Someone did something incredibly nasty. Something so bad. And they do it every day, by the way. This is not just a serious, uh... So I guess uh, the way I rank these, and I'm not actually ranking them. It's not like I got a tier list going on or something, which would be a pretty good idea, but I'm not really prepared for that. The way I rank this is a promo for me is whenever he rants at the camera at somebody specific or kind of like a, a blanket thing about everybody. So this is a very good example of what a DSP promo is. The earlier one from today, very good example. Uh, I think the War Dog Leader one, very good example as well. We got the Pokemon one. Uh, I wouldn't exactly call that a promo because that's just him being a toxic piece of shit, kind of like with the bubbles. But I guess we can accept it as as kind of a, a broad, a, a broad idea of what a DSP promo would be. Uh, this one is very good too. Hey, Bandit did a 300 bit cheer. So I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel, Me Re. So someone trying to make fun of me, even though I've never actually said Re. But uh, flashback. I'm the one. Who operated a successful YouTube channel? Me! Re! I'm the one- Re! It literally says Re. This is like the wildest dude, man. It's an actual- <laughs> uh, Another one. Let's go through them. I'm, I'm willing to take uh, chat suggestions if you guys have any. Because uh, you guys have come up with really good ones. Uh, calling his viewers lazy. That's a classic. Shout out to Mighty D for this one. Uh, and we got it here. It's it it kicks right off. Okay, everyone. Well, now I hope you had fun. Being that I knew absolutely, that's a very good one. Great white hype. The promo on LTG is a fantastic one. Fantastic example. Thank you very much. I had forgotten about it. People were enjoying the playthrough. I decided to go a little extra long today, as you saw. I went a whole extra hour on stream, which I hope you appreciate. Um. Quite honestly, let me take a look, because I have not looked at stream numbers all day. My god, the stream numbers were terrible. Wow, what happened? We never even... Hold on. I'm actually trying to go back here. Did we ever even get close to 400? 
Yeah, to me, this doesn't qualify quite as much as a promo because he's just ranting at his chat in general and he's just being a DSP. But for the sake of this segment, let, let's just play it. It's very fun, very entertaining. It's, a, it's good content. At least from what I can see, I can't see the entire length of this stream, but from what I can see, which is back till around like 3 p.m., it looks like we barely even had 300 on stream. Wow. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it now. No more excuses, all right? Because the bottom line is people are like, Phil's not engaged no in No more excuses. And Phil's commentary is boring, and that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the streams. Bullshit. I'm loving this game. I'm voice acting. I'm engaged. I'm commentating on everything that's going on actively. Bullshit. I call massive bullshit on any idiot who says that about either the Watch Dogs 2, which I've been playing recently and really liking, or Pokemon. It's bullshit. I call complete and utter bullshit on anyone who's saying that I'm not engaged and I sound like I'm bored. I'm not. So I've had enough excuses. It just seems to me like people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. I don't even know what else to say, you know? Jim Bob says that at one point we had around 350. Well, I mean, this is kind of ridiculous that I can't even get 400 people for a, a live stream anymore of new game. Wow, that did not age good at all. Because if you look up the stream from yesterday, at some points, he was in the 200s. What's going on, everyone? Dark Side Phil here with a special vlog. Uh so yeah, this is the rest of it, which is just him kind of justifying why he said that thing and why people called him out and making a non-apology. Because you can't really have an apology video that is like 20 minutes long without seeming like you're just deflecting and making it about uh, being unrightfully criticized or something like that. Let me find something else. Went like crazy and he got all the yeah. So how did I lose the fight? That was incredibly fucking stupid. Oh, so we lost the fight in the story mode. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got the LTG segment. Say the right. This is it. This is it. This this one is so fucking good, man. <laughs> there it is. This is what he sent me yesterday. Stop clout chasing, bro. If you want to play, play me. If you want to play, play me in anything. So I guess it's a grammar error. If you want to play, play me in anything, it's going to cost you 5K. This is sad AF. Stop mentioning me and upgrade your streams. Godspeed. <laughs> so now, it's time to get a little real. All right? LTG, you fucked up. Now, this is, this is the, the ultimate example of a promo. That's when you're cutting a promo on a specific person and you're, you're, you're bringing it on, you know? You're, you're busting out all the, the big guns. All right? I was being very reasonable. I was being very nice to you. I had calm, very commonplace, non-accusatory, non-criticizing questions about your content. All right? That's all it was. I had no problem with you at all. And you took it upon it yourself to do a 10-minute rant about my personal appearance, about the quality of my streams, about a million things about me that were all unqualified, including continuously bringing up a 50K podcast, which obviously you're incredibly jealous you're never going to get offered. You fucked up because you took the first step towards a public feud. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like feuds. I don't want to be involved in a fucking public feud at all. I don't want to go back and forth with you endlessly because that's a waste of everyone's fucking time. The only reason that I would ever involve myself. <laughs> it's so great that for... <laughs> this is really funny in retrospect because you see him wearing this little plastic bag around his, his neck as if it's a, it's a statement to show LTG that he's really stupid for telling him to focus on his sexy. But what happened exactly right after this stream? He started wearing nice clothes. And I, I say nice clothes. That's a very strong term for it. He started pretending to put in effort in his appearance. So it actually got to him. Something like this. is Because I feel like we can get something out of it. All right? So, I have some recommendations for you. All right? I want you to reassess your own streams. Since you're going to give it to me, allow me to give a little bit back to you. All right? You know how when you're criticizing yourself and you're praising yourself and you say, I don't want to talk to anyone. All right? Because I don't want to talk to you 
if you don't go to the gym every day. I don't want to talk to you if you got a high-pitched voice. I don't want to talk to you. If you're going to criticize people, all right, at least use proper, like, like descriptive adjectives. Use proper vocabulary, for example. <laughs> In this, again, it's a botched promo. Because he just stumbles on his words and says, uh, uh, but we use the proper uh, 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 descriptive adjectives, I guess. I kept, something was nagging <laughs> me yesterday. After I watched your video, <clears throat> all right, your 10 minute rant against my looks, something just kept nagging me badly. And it was just the references you were making. Peanut butter complexion. Uh, yeah, before we go on with this, because this is so fucking good. Do you even know what peanut butter is? Uh, this is so crazy because... It turns out during this whole rivalry, the, during this whole feud, that LTG is actually less of a narcissist than DSP is. And we all know that both of them are insane, raging narcissists. But LTG saw the DSP clip, or uh, he didn't even saw the DSP clip. He saw, uh, saw somebody in chat talking about him, and he roasted him, and he just shut it down and moved on. And this dude gave him like 15 minutes of his own time on his own stream talking about the other dude that never acknowledged him. Did he just call LTG a nago? Well, well, he told him to use proper um, descriptive adjective style. The Mortal Kombat X one where he wanted to punch the guy. Oh, that's, that's going to be really hard to find though. Uh, but thank you, Meerkat's secret son for the dollar. You actually kept saying peanut butter complexion against yourself like it's something positive, okay? Do you know what peanut butter is? Do you know what peanut butter is? <laughs> he meant the color, you fucking idiot. Not literal peanut butter. It's not like LTG is smeared in peanut butter, you moron. You understand what it is? It's fat, it's oils, it's grease. And it's all smashed together into this ooey, sticky paste. You ever actually touch peanut butter? You know what it feels like? It's gross. It's disgusting. You get it on, you're like, oh, it's stuck on my hands. I gotta go wash my hands. I can't get it off. There's peanut butter all over me. It gets stuck to the roof of your fucking mouth when you eat peanut butter. Huh? It tastes good, but it's actually gross. It's like I said, when I think, when you say peanut butter complexion to me, right? I think you're taking peanut butter, like chunky Peter Pan or Jif peanut butter, and you're like spreading it on your face, of and you course. got these big lumps of peanuts of stuck course. all over. Because because he sees everything as a literal thing, like he literally is smearing peanut butter on top of himself, which I guess DSP would like to believe because he imagines, uh, you know, naked buff dudes with peanut butter on them. Your head, and I it guess. It's like you're covered in fucking giant zits, big infected zits ready to pop. When you say peanut butter complexion, it makes you think your skin is gross. That's the worst adjective you could use. Stop and using- That's the whole thing. He had plenty of time to, to, like, think of this promo. He had plenty of time to structure the way he's gonna roast this guy. And the best thing he could come up with is that peanut butter is yucky and gross. Say, I have a clean complexion. I have a nice, smooth complexion. Acne-free. Then I would understand what you're saying. If you're saying peanut butter, no one knows what the fuck you're talking about. You sound like an asshole, okay? Let's do something else. You know something you kept saying that really drove me nuts? A nice crispy hairline. Oh yeah, crispy. Nice, solid, crispy jawline. He loves the word crispy, okay? Now, when he's saying that- Here you go, father. Can I get a poo 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 poo? Please talk about my wife. <laughs> what? Thank you. Thank you, my son. <laughs> Literally son. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the link, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So Dark Side Phil explodes on stream. And that's not what you guys are thinking. This is not from 2016, May the 1st. What he's meaning is my hairline is neat, symmetrical. Thank you, son. Look at my face. My f I'm, I'm proud of you, son. I raised you well. Face is like proper, like if you know, ge geometrically proper. My hairline is good. He kept bringing up my hairline, how my hairline's fucked up right here. See how fucked up this is? Yeah, he keeps bringing that up. But he's like the crispy hair, crispy, okay? Crispy. Do you know what the word crispy even means? Okay, crispy. Is referring to something that, that is the Eugene style promo. <laughs> if Cat was in the WWE, who would she be styled after? Abdullah the Butcher, Yokozuna, Viscera. Bro, now that you brought up Viscera, his whole like his finisher move is literally to go on top of a guy and just dry hump them. That was literally it. Hold on, <laughs> Viscera finisher.
It was literally just the, the just fuck some dude. <laughs> I know you love it, but it's degrading. It's demoralized. Hold on, hold on. I need to go big style for this. Peanut butter is literally me. Yeah, peanut butter. There we go, man. Peanut butter. Are you are you fat and greasy and oily? Then that's relatable. And it's disgusting. Coach, you Look at this. Oh, this is probably gonna get the stream blog, but I don't give a fuck. This is is worth watching. <laughs> So now he, he's gonna slap his ass, then flip around, and literally just fuck the dude. <laughs> oh, gee. oh boy! Rob Conway has just been. Wow, what a great finisher, been man! Or he, de he definitely finished. Somebody finished. To the point that when you touch it or you bite into it, it makes a crackling or crisping sound or sensation. That's what the word crispy means. All right, the word you're looking for is crisp. And this dude, again, he had so much time to think of a diss. And all he could come up with is just nitpick what the guy said and just jump to semantics. That's all that he could, could possibly conceive. A crisp hairline, a smooth and equal hairline, a crisp jawline, not crispy. The only way that your appearance is crispy is if you're dumping your fucking head in a deep fryer every morning before you go to stream. Look at so this. what the fuck are you talking about? You're not crispy, dumbass. You're crisp. You and he thinks this is a good disc. He thinks he bodied him. Use the right fucking words. You sound like an idiot every time you open your fucking mouth and you say something dumb like this. Fucking grow up and use an iota of the intel. I know you're intelligent. I know you're an intelligent dude. But you say the dumbest shit and you're trying to use it as an insult against someone. Say the right fucking words, you moron. Like, seriously, shut the fuck up about other people's appearance if you can't even describe your own in a way that makes any kind of fucking logical sense to the audience you're talking to. 90% of the people listening to you are laughing at you because they don't know what the fuck you're saying. This is like him himself talking into a mirror because LTG is just as much of a narcissist, if not more, than this dude. And this dude is criticizing effectively the equivalent of himself. Five bands, crispy, what the fuck? Get a fucking dictionary. Get a thesaurus. <laughs> That's all he could come up with is get a dictionary. <laughs> Let me this fucking stupid fucking thing off. Okay? Now, I'd like to finish this in a way that it's going to kind of be productive rather than destructive. <clears throat> all right? You fucked up. You insulted me for absolutely no reason. You didn't have to, but you just thought, oh, it's free reign for me to just say and do whatever the fuck I want. Wrong. Oh, hold on, Wrong. hold on. You don't just get to say and do whatever the fuck you want on this planet. Yeah, actually, he did. He did get to say whatever the fuck he wanted, and nothing came out of it. Because LTG is still streaming business as usual, and DSP is crying about it. But I had, I had TJ Gamebox send me this in the meantime, which is another, another wrestler. But this time, it, it resembles Cat more. Bringing out your Jeremy Borat. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Oh, look at this. The sunset flip. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Goddamn cat. Slow down. You're gonna get yourself a heart attack. Two, three. There we go. That's it, man. That's all you need. Planet without consequences. You know, consequences have actions, pimp. So, it's this simple. Play me in Street Fighter VI. Stop being a bitch. Stop making excuses. Stop demanding unreasonable money that no one's ever going to pay you because no one values you that much. He's so literal minded. Horrible existence law. Yeah, man. Everything comes down to semantics with him. That's why he's such a fucking weasel. That's why the, the side scrollers interview is literally five hours long because he spent half of that time just talking in circles and just filleting himself. Play me in fucking Street Fighter 6. Let's make it a rivalry. Let's make it one of the most epic Street Fighter 6 rivalries ever. Let's make it the big first rivalry ever. Let's do it. Evo weekend. Play me first to 10. We'll lay down some rules. We'll make sure that both parties agree and both of our fan bases and hater bases are on the same page. It'll be one of the most streamed events ever in you Street Fighter this? 6. It will be super fun. <laughs> because the whole idea behind this is that he wanted to play LTG for Cloud. So he gets to have his payback on Evo and, and overshadow Evo. That's how delusional he was. I hype for it. Let's do it. Or, or, shut the fuck up forever. I guess he did shut the fuck up forever and nothing came out of it. Uh, now we got, uh, I got a super chat about the, the Merriam-Webster dictionary and the uh, definition of Merriam crispy. Merriam-Webster says that LTG was right, not DSP. Also has the old definition for milking the verb.
valedictorian my butt. Okay, let's fact check this real quick. So crispy means having a firm, dry, and brittle surface or texture, which I mean kind of kind of applies to him, you know, firm and dry. That's his crispy skin. But let's check out the actual Merriam-Webster dictionary. Appealingly crunchy. And then we get examples of crispy, which is fry the potatoes until they are brown and crispy. Well, LTG is brown and crispy, so I guess it does apply. Hmm, very interesting. Um, yeah, food that is blah, blah, blah. And, okay, so let's say appearance. Clean? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is crisp. You see here it says a crisp appearance. So it's clean and orderly. Or in other words, neat. Uh, also, the, the word neat applies to DSP, but it's spelled a little bit differently. It's the N-E-E-T, not in employment, education, or training. Unless he's playing fighting games, then he's in training permanently. <laughs> so this is something else I got sent by my son. This is Dark Side Phil explodes on stream. Let's see if this is a promo or not. not. I got a serious question for you. When you were playing Kingdom Hearts, and your girlfriend insulted the game in the stream chat, why All did you right. put in the sub-only mode? Enough of this. <laughs> I'm not playing this idiot. <laughs> He gets asked the very valid question, by the way, instantly dodging, instantly running away. Question. I'm not, I'm not playing this idiot. I'm not, not playing this idiot. Bullshit. So now we got to go all the way. Two and a half fucking years. Where are we even going? He can't even tell where he's going. He's panicking so hard. We're just stumbling across menus. Hey, you know what? Where are you even going? Everything. So I don't have to listen to these morons. How do you turn off chat? Oh, <laughs> he's know. panicking so hard. Audio output. No, this is right. I'm not playing this guy. <laughs> I'm not playing him. Nope. You don't get to play, dick shit. If only there was an easy way to disable fucking chat on this. Oh, PC there we go. He's so panicked right now. Let's see. Because <laughs> somebody <laughs> asked him a valid story. question. Some devices, I think. Oh, Why you have no devices? idea what to do, DSP. You have absolutely no clue, man. The what are you even trying to do? Look, I can't even, you can't even do nothing. Look. <laughs> you me, but I heard you insult me. Ah, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> and the guy just says, yeah, Phil, by the way, I heard you insult me. Who gives a fuck? Seriously. Here, you know what? There. There. Well, there we go. We... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> we just straight up just quit the game. Emergency quit. <clears throat> Oh, this dude is such a bitch. Fucking years ago on Twitch. I mean, could you be more of a fucking loser? Seriously. I think I think you're you're showing very well that you can be more of a loser because you just panicked and went into settings immediately, and you can't, couldn't even find the right setting. He really, the reason this guy joined my match was to do that, not to play the game, not to have fun. He ruins it for everyone. Delays people who want to play have to wait now, right? Because we have to listen to this fucking idiot. Uh huh. I mean, what, ladies and gentlemen, you have found the epitome of a loser on the internet. Right. Find that Dark man, side Phil. Find his fucking tag on PSN, and I give you permission to spam his fucking inbox. Wait. With enough nonsense, so that he never fucking is able. Wait, to wait, wait what? That's just targeted harassment, Phil. What? Again, seriously. It just straight up says, "Go find his fucking name and address, harass him." What an asshole. He's talking about <laughs> he played Kingdom Hearts 1. That was two years ago. He's asking the dumbest fucking question ever. What a complete idiot. Oh my god. He got bodied so hard. He had nothing to say and then just fake laughed in the end. To pretend <laughs> that he god. won. We're playing MKX in 2015, you fucking loser. Wow. This guy is beyond anyway, pathetic. If only I could figure out how to disable voice chat so I don't have to hear people do stupid shit like that, but I can't, because guess what? I couldn't even... Dude, and we're still stumbling across menus. He can't even figure out how to no, disable the voice chat. The guy had no fucking interest... He got in bodied so it's hard by a reasonable, normal question. ...waste everyone's time to bring stupid shit up from two years ago. That's, that is the kind of guy who I want to punch. Like, that is the only per the only way that idiot will ever learn anything is if someone knocks his fucking teeth Oh, look at this. Then he and now that the guy has been gone, he's muted, now we talking all that shit. Oh my god, man, I'm gonna punch him so he gets to learn his lesson. He won't do it anymore. But that's the problem. On the internet, everything's safe, right? Everyone yeah. 
troll anyone and do anything say nasty shit oh is it safe i thought people were harassing him all day stuff from two fucking now is safe ago. because they're cowards look at how terrified there's no he way is. i can disable voice chat so we're gonna be at the at the mercy of idiots who want to try to do that just to ruin the stream and ruin the gameplay for everyone. Wow, crazy man! Ban 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 over Bison Hat Mighty D have the video. Oh yeah, okay, nice. Let's see if that if that makes the the cut. So Mighty D, uh, Bison Bison Hat. Absolutely, this is the one. Thank you, Danny DK. The first of four new hats about to be revealed, everyone. All right. I actually want to do this dramatically, so hold on a second. Let me see if I can do this off camera as not to spoil. You hear nice burning sounds? Off camera. Is this the sound spoil. of his career? Oh, she's tripped. Oh, yeah, let's do him a, a quick vibe check before we get into this. He's about to clock out very soon because I guess he's on the last level. And the tips haven't moved a bit, I think. He's still sitting on 39. Very positive, very interactive, extremely chill. It's so chill that the tips froze. Okay. Ready? Are we ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Ah, yes. Hello. I am uh, General Bison. I'm here to take over the world with my, my forces of Shadowloo as well as Stream and make some, to make some money. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. So those burning sounds were just the ovens. That makes a lot of sense, dude. And thanks for everybody who uh, just uh, became a member again. Because it's 2 a.m. So that's what happens at 2 a.m., dude. Spooky stuff happens. <laughs> yes. It's actually, it's, it looks exactly like M. Bison's hat, except I, they didn't have one with a skull, so I got a star. But it looks like M. Bison's hat. It's supposed to be like a military hat. It's yeah, pretty funny. I've got the one with the swastika oh. on it. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> of course, people are being stupid. They think that this hat is only like like crazy Nazi stuff. It's not. This is a very common military hat used in many different military things. Like I said, it's a, really it's an M Bison oh, hat. That's why. This is this is a fantastic video because he starts off so cheered up and so happy, and now you can see that kind of deflating. And eventually, we get to a, a climax of toxicity. I got it, because it looks like M. Bison. So. I just think it's stupid, because people, of course, have to immediately associate everything with something bad with me, because they want to be dickheads and try to basically spin everything to be toxic. So, because I'm wearing a military hat of the style that a ridiculous amount of people in history have worn, including M. Bison, a character that I frequently pick in a fighting game once a week, they got to all say it's a Nazi hat. So, it's this simple. When I see it, you're banned. I'm not even fucking around. If I see you say it once, you're banned. <laughs> this is your one warning. If I see it in chat, you are banned. I don't care if you're a regular. I don't care who the fuck you are. If I see it, you're banned. Period. I'm not putting up with your bullshit. Trying to be toxic on my fucking stream. I'm having fun here. And all of a sudden, I look at the stream chat. Everyone, oh, Nazis, Nazis, Hitler, Nazis. No, how about this? Banned, 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 banned. banned. Gone. Gone. Forever. Forever. Because I don't put up with your fucking bullshit. Your toxic shit is not welcome on my fucking streams ever. So get the fuck out. Now. This is absolutely a it's promo. It's not a funny fucking absolutely. joke. Absolutely. It's not. You're out of here. So I'm done with it. If I see it once, you're banned. And you're absolutely a promo. And on top of being a promo, it's also exactly what a Nazi would say. Not coming back. No coming. Begging me in emails. Can I be unbanned? I didn't know. Fuck you, you toxic idiot. You got to bring up fucking Nazis on my stream. Fuck you. You're banned. <laughs> Period. <laughs> and I mean, just look at him. He's sitting there with a platinum vest that we got from fucking AliExpress or something. And he's wearing a fucking... Super Mario Abbey Road t-shirt. Like, how are you supposed to take this guy seriously? Now everyone acts like they didn't say it when it's been said for the past 10 fucking minutes. So I can't wait for the first idiot to be fucking banned right now. <laughs> All right. Now can I concentrate on the game and have fun? Instead Definitely of stupid... a fantastic promo. Fantastic. And thank you, uh, Falk, for the dollar who sent me another one. Uh, which is the death stroke. I know this one, I don't know if that one counts as a, as a promo or as just general toxicity. 
I think this this is more like general toxicity. I think most people know about this one. Uh, but let's see what he's gonna say here, because it's the end of the stream, and then I'm gonna play the Deathstroke one. Kitchen here. So now they all work at a soup kitchen. Those were June's shoes. They didn't look like June's shoes. Well, that's weird. What a game. It's interesting they found a way to imp to, to have them all in there, right? Every character in some way, even though you don't really get to play as all of them, they all get a little bit of screen time. Yeah, it's um, it's it's great or something. I don't know. But yeah, this was a miserable stream by the looks of it. If you look at the statistics, it was miserable. Even though he's got more viewers now, he's uh, sitting at 454, and he's singing. Is uh, compared to yesterday, where yesterday was truly miserable, but at least he made like 80 bucks. And I guess, I, I mean, I guess outside yep. of your regular whales that are going to whale no matter what, he is not doing well. If I was him, I would definitely be concerned. I would definitely be sending out job applications at this point, because this is not looking good. So she's got the devil gin. Oh. And that's it. He finished the game, dude. She's he the actually new devil did character. it. So that's so silly. She's Hayachi's daughter. Well, when the fuck did he have her? He was like 95 years old or something crazy like that, right? In the story. He was like 700 years Phil, old. Phil, Phil, the music is way too kids. loud, dude. I can't hear what you're saying. Right? All right. All right. Do we get to skip this? I like, here's the thing, I like that entire story mode, except the fact that at the end, you have to fight the same thing 4,000 times. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that you have to fight Kazuya 700 times. That's kind of silly. Oh, June is added to character episodes. Reina added to character episodes. A new side story, Jukazama added to the gallery. Really? And I got all this. Wow, well, look at all the achievements he's getting, man. That means he's good at video games. Any of it yet. I unlocked all these different plates, look, like G-Corp plates. Whoa, look at this. Violet he can look stylish plates. as he's getting bodied the online. Core. Isn't this great? In Tekken Ball, you can make the Tekken Ball. The answer the is probably core. not. Oh my god, look at all this. Yeah, you get 10 million just for beating the story. Devil plates. I gotta figure out what I want my energy bars to look like now. Soul chain? What is that? It's a Jin, an outfit for Jin. Yeah, look. Different outfits for Jin, Kazuya. Interesting. Damn, you unlock a lot for doing that, right? All right. Do we get the clock out now? Yeah, you unlock a lot for doing that. So, interesting. Yeah, we got story. the 50-bit bitch. Can Those I find that one? That one was really not, good. Right? Uh, ESP 50-bit. Because, uh... Yeah, there it is. Reina is yes. Now Why is it so long? This shit is 11 minutes. Who now has the double gene in her. Okay. Crazy, huh? Now, character episodes, I'm just curious. Let's watch him clock out, out first, because he might bitch about the support. For every character, it is now, because originally it wasn't. You had to beat the story, and now that you beat the story, now you can see their character episodes. You want to know why? Because how much you want to bet their character episodes are story spoilers, right? So you had to beat that first. That makes sense. All right. All right, so guys, thank you for watching my story mode playthrough of Tekken 8, The Dark Awakens. It was interesting. Uh, it was wild, it was weird, it was anime, it was musu, it was uh, pretty crazy. What the fuck is a musu? Done, and now we've got so much stuff we can put into the other modes of the game, right? I want to say thanks to everyone who chilled with me here today on the stream, anyone who watched this after the fact. I really hope you enjoyed the run, and uh, likely I will eventually try character episodes, especially when I start trying out the other characters in the game, besides just the two that I've used so far, Paul and King. I will probably try these other character episodes to get their little mini stories. There's only five fights anyway each, right? Oh, it's so like Dynasty long. Warriors. So, uh, okay, yeah, right, I, I get it. Thank you for watching. Okay, so now we, we're going to get an unrecorded bag. We definitely video, have to. About the story we got $39 and, uh, in positivity, man. We, we kind of have to get it. These characters are, I, I, I feel entitled to it. Streams, right? We didn't know who Reyna was until right now. But All right, good stuff. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too, and I'll see you later for lots more gameplay of Tekken 8. Peace out. Okay. Yeah, guys, so that's the story. I'm glad that I, I started The music early. is so loud, dude. Oh, Turn God, off the game. And I'm glad that we finished it in one sitting. And, man, that would have been incredibly dumb if I had played hard mode 
and couldn't beat it in one sitting, right? All right, so keep in mind, there will be more Tekken tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I'm going to do more multiplayer, and likely, I'll probably do more Paul and King. But then after that, the next time I play Tekken, I'm going to be trying out new characters in the arcade mode. So that way, I'll be able to test them out and see what I oh, think. Oh, thank God he turned it off. Try them. Um, tonight on the late stream, it's more like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, continuing on with the story and six hopefully getting ants. into That's the meat of it. Right now, we are still in you know, the all the six million ants. They got, they got banned, banned, banned. They, they got sent into a banned world uh, remember, or the chaos realm. Is Just my pick react one. Show, and tomorrow night is Tekken Eight multiplayer. All right, so I hope that you'll join me for that. And again, for those who were here and supported in some way, thank you. Uh, I'm oh, glad there we that go. some people are understanding that these fake, these gifted memberships are all fake. Um, it sucks. But uh, thank you for a great stream, and I'll see you tonight, hopefully, for Like a Dragon, okay? Oh, no, come right, on. Guys, we were out. so close. Bye -bye. We were so close. We got a, just, just a little smells great. The, the fake ass begging segment. Not even a real begging segment. Come on, dude. Oh, well, well I'm, I'm, I'm happy that some of the people saw that, you know, the fake memberships and all. Yeah. So I guess that was it, you guys. 39. That's a, if you ask me, that's a win for the trolls. I'm going to be clowning him on Twitter over that. So we got the not a Nazi hat. We got a bunch of other promos. I guess someday I want to make a tier list out of them because I want to figure out which one is the scientifically, objectively the best one. Uh, because it's, it's just so much fun to do that shit. Uh, let's see the, the one with Deathstroke first. I don't classify this as a promo. That's just me. But it is an iconic DSP moment where he just shits all over this guy. And he gets bodied. So if oh. that's not a, a an epic DSP oh. moment, I don't know what is. Uh-oh, we got another Dick Deathstroke. Stroke. Dick Stroke to the rescue. <laughs> Alright, now we get a nice little loading screen. Okay, let's get this God party it. started. Wait a minute. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, and this dude is so Here cheesy, too. He's just hitting him with the guns. The guy can't even close down the distance. He's getting completely bodied. I hate this idiot. Come on, man. Do you want to play the fucking game? Sir, just kill me. Here, I'm just going to walk forward. You can just keep shooting my body. Because you're such a good player that this is how you earn your win. So no, no, come on. Keep hitting me. Come on, keep hitting me, asshole. Come on, you fucking idiot. Come on. Keep hitting me. Here, earn your win. Oh, you're so good. And this is what happens. When he is getting bodied and it's clear that he's going to get bodied, he just drops the controller. It's like the worst way to play with somebody multiplayer. If you've played with one of your friends or something like that, and at some point they just drop the controller, that's super dishonorable. Just take the L, dude. You're just losing in a video game. I'm gonna let it's you not that deep. So that you can waste your fucking life playing other people. Because I actually like playing fighting games, you fucking idiot. Fuck you, dumb shit. My god, people are still here. Keep hitting me. Go ahead, hit me again. Come on, finish it. Get your perfect, because this is how you want to win. Yeah, because this discredits your opponent. Go ahead. Just no, own up bitch, to it. You don't Just take the loss. Game, you stupid oh. cocksucker. You fucking walk back and shoot bullets. You're a fucking idiot. Your mother probably shat you out, you fucking piece of shit. Learn how to fucking play a game and be an honorable fucking player. Don't spam fucking projectiles, you stupid fucking idiot. So now you can live in your, as you live in your mom's basement, you can celebrate by eating your whole fucking bag of Doritos and chugging down your fucking Fanta because you got to win with Deathstroke. You're so good because you rock back and shot bullets. Fuck you, you stupid. You know what? That, that actually is a promo. I, I, I can agree on that. That is definitely a promo. It definitely qualifies. Because he was roasting somebody else, and he also got bodied. So there's no excuse. Let's see the one with, uh, with the 50-bit bitch, and I think that's going to be the last one. I'm going to start rude. I'm just not going to respond to you anymore, because you're trying to make an exciting finale of a game all about you. What the fuck, dude? Just grow the fuck up. Seriously. I mean it. I'm in the middle of a game that's really exciting ending. I'm trying to get into it. Oh, Phil's not reading every cheer I am and micro-analyzing. This could all be a figment of someone's imagination. Shut the fuck up. Seriously. Shut up. You're stupid. Okay. Come on now. Get, get, get your varmints. Okay. 
Hold on a second. I mean it too. Hold on. He means it, you guys. This is gonna be hot. He really means so it this time. If you on ruining the playthrough, because this is what they're trying to do, you can all get the fuck out now. Oh, yes, the, the, the glamorous bug snacks playthrough. And he ends up ruining it himself because he gets on this whole tangent and derailment. Get out. Like, I don't know that you're all from, from the same group of people. Like, I don't know who you really are anyway. Even though you've been in here the past few days cheering and shit, like, I don't know who you all are. Okay, so here we go. But don't worry, because these people will be back begging to come back. They will. They'll be begging to come back within a day. Oh, why did Phil... I wish that didn't happen. Oh, man. I'm in the finale of a game. Action-packed finale of a and game. And by the way, he has admitted in his Discord that he bans people and unbans them because he likes the power trip of them begging. He literally says the quote is, it makes them beg. And he gets off of that. We're wondering what the heck this game was. We just got a huge twist, really exciting finale. I'm going overtime on my stream to finish the game for everyone. Let's just distract everyone and do... Oh, he's not reading every cheer I, that I'm doing immediately. It's a little brat mentality. Shut the fuck up. The stream's not about you. Now you got other people. Why would you show up to him like that? No, you're out of here. I this is definitely a very good promo. Shout out to uh, whoever recommended this one. Enough is enough. All I want to do... All I want to do is enjoy the end of the game. That's it. And if you're going to act like that then just don't come back. And I mean it. Every one of them in there that are acting like that, just don't come back. I don't need you here. We're here to have fun and have a fun gameplay stream. I can ignore a cheer if I feel like it because we're in the middle of an action-packed segment. And I would shout it out later. Not, oh my god, why does it feel reading my cheer immediately and then trying to get a whole mob to distract me during the finale? So now I had to stop playing for a minute to let this cool down. All right? I'm, enough. I don't want to hear these fucking idiots acting like dumb shits on my stream trying to derail it it's against the rules and you know that so goodbye and good riddance i thought it was just and one guy back, begging tomorrow oh can i come back to the stream no you're an asshole the stream's not about you jesus h christ dude okay now let's all relax i want to see how the game ends all right i'm excited to see how this ends all right i've been waiting for the end of this for a long time here and i'm not gonna have it ruined by a bunch of idiots. Here we go. Here's more. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Okay. When do we get to the punchline? The 50-bit bitch. Who's next? Anyone left? Are we good now? <laughs> Hopefully we're good now. All right. Everyone ready to see the exciting ending of Bug Stacks and not be distracted by a bunch of fucking little shits who are just being fucking obnoxious tonight? Good, because I am too. That's what I'm here for. That's why I've been playing the game for All these banned people right. are lost revenue over the years for the most minor things. DSP is the goat of detractors. Absolutely. You know what they say. He's, uh, he is his own biggest detractor, and that's always been true. And he's also uh, turned away a bunch of people that have supported him throughout time. By just saying the most minor things. Because remember the Dutch cucks, the island boys, or also known as the Dutch brothers by their legal names, they left just because he made fun of Jesus. And he didn't even make fun of Jesus like really hardcore. He just said that Jesus was a zombie. And they got really pissed off about it and they just stopped sending him stuff. Are right, you guys ready? <clears throat> Thank you, Derek. He said, I hope you have fun with the And that's, that's many of those people happen throughout the years. People that have given him a lot of money. They just left because he didn't like their favorite game or he said something out of line. Because he is a man baby and he attracts man babies to be a fan, to be a part of his fan base. So uh, guess what's going to happen? They're going to get triggered by stuff that man babies get triggered by. Two. Ready? All right, let's finish this. Um, so Dr. Tony Huge should be $25 and one cent and says, I'm sorry these guys went into real the finale of the stream. I'm in no means apologizing for their actions. Honestly, honestly, fuck them for acting like spoiled brats bringing for your attention. Let's at least get a vest on for the finale of Bug Snacks. All right. So with that tip, indeed, we did hit the tip skull for tonight. Thanks to everyone who supported the playthrough because there were a lot of people who gave me shit playing this game. Being honest, there were. There, at first, it was a joke. It was a meme. But after I played it like one or two streams, people were like, oh, why did you play Bug Snacks again? I think it was one of the best games I played this year. Yeah, so he I'm loved Bug Snacks. Excited. Thanks for everyone who supported the playthrough. All right? And, uh... Peace out.
And don't eat any freaking bug snacks, that's for sure. Holy shit. Yes, and I'm aware that Will Moses was also one of... What it is, guys, so now, now I can, since the playthrough's over, I'm not recording for YouTube, I can actually talk to you a little bit, honestly. Oh, yeah. Now that we're not recording, we can go full-on toxic and just watch. All right, there's a group of people in here, and they do tend to cheer, but they literally are in here because they also sit in detractor chats, and they sit in detractor circles. And what they try to do is they try to get a rise out of me. They'll try to get me to talk about stuff that has nothing to do with a the stream. They'll try to get me to say stuff that gets me in trouble on Twitch. They think I don't know about this because they think I'm stupid. All right? I'm not. I know all about everything that happens. And what happened eventually, he said things that got him in trouble with Twitch, and he got departnered. All right? The people that tried to derail the stream tonight are that group of people. It's the people who, they're not really fans of mine. They watch, ironically, to try to get me to see, oh, what will Phil do stupid tonight? Oh, can I really annoy Phil tonight? Can I trigger Phil tonight? What can I do? That's who those people were, all right? And so here you go, whoa, Moses. No, you're not. Oh, whoa, Moses. Uh, fun fact, this was DSP's name before DSP. Before he was known as Dark Side Phil, he went by the name of whoa, Moses. Not really whoa, Moses, all right? You are, because this is a spelling, a variation of a name that I used to use a million years ago. There you right? go. These are the people. A trillion years this. ago. They try to ruin shit, and they did. They almost did. Because fucking Instar ruined. Oh, he's not reading my cheers. Yes, because your cheers are like, gee, I wonder if this is all in someone's head. Gee, I wonder if it's this that. Dude, I'm in the big finale of the game. All the plots being revealed. We got action pass sequences to try to keep everyone alive. You're trying to distract him at cheers, and then you're actually of the audacity to tell me I should just stop what I'm doing on my stream to read your derailing cheers in the middle of the finale of a fucking game that's been building for a long time and we finally get this crazy twist, but you're more important than everyone watching and me playing. I need to derail it for you and your 50-bit cheer, okay? Here's what you can do, Ninstar Rune. You can go fuck yourself and never come back. And I mean that. <laughs> Don't ever ask to come back because you're not, you're not the kind of person I want watching my streams. You're the person who tries to derail the stream constantly with nonsense, and I don't need your cheers to fucking survive. I can make do without Ninstar Rune being a 50-bit bitch and derailing my streams with negativity, nonsense, and stupid shit. We're all trying to have a good time on the stream, and we gotta be derailed by an idiot. Go fuck yourself. Don't ever come back. All right? 50-bit bitch. Simple. And it's the same thing. Woe Moses and Dalboth, you're all the same group. You come in here and you try to cheer and derail the streams constantly. I know you try to get me to say stuff to get me in trouble. Recently, they've been actually, if you can believe, the detractors have been trying to get me to mention one or two other streamers that I don't... Phil the goat? K. I'll admit that you're the goat, but I'm a shaman. I eat you folk. Well, he is. I, I can also admit he is the goat, man. Like, there's there's no other lol cow that can give this flavor of milk. That's why he's the goat! I don't even know who they are. because they're trying I'm, to I'm very much enjoying going over this past, uh, these past moments of toxicity because this is just classic shit, man. To get the streamer to then be angry at me and stuff. And these are people who are all involved in this, all right? I'm not stupid. I know what's going on. He's not right? stupid. And I know there's some more people He just falls for all the bait and eventually got himself departnered by being stupid. But right he's not now, stupid. Who are also part of that group. Just because you didn't do anything tonight doesn't mean I'm stupid. I know who you are. The thing is that usually I put up with it. I understand that I have a group of viewers who like me for me and my content. Then there's a group of viewers who watch ironically to try to make fun of me and get me in trouble. All right? Everyone knows that... You know, it's it's if you're just not gonna fuck around and derail shit, usually I'm a very lenient person. Usually I'm a person who's not gonna care. Right. If, if you if you just kiss his ass and suck the turds out of his ass, that's his own words, by the way. Uh, you, you're just gonna do perfectly fine in his chat. We're in here. If you try and do anything else, you're getting banned. Who don't really like me, but they're in here to basically make fun of me. Uh, but if you're gonna derail the finale of a fucking major new release video game, you're gone. And you're not coming back, and you're not welcome. And I mean that. Like, Ninstar Rune, you fucked up in a major way tonight. And I don't think you'll ever <laughs> learn any differently because you were in here to basically make fun of me constantly anyway. So, you see what I mean? But that's what I mean. And I apologize to you guys because, obviously, I don't want my streams to become derailed by people just because they think because they're throwing me a few bits here or there. Oh, look, now I can completely derail Phil stream, make him talk about off-topic shit, annoy him during a finale. You see what I'm saying? This is how these people are. This is their mentality. If I just throw a cheer, I can completely fuck Phil's stream up tonight. And I'm not going to play that game, all right? I'm just not. So it's that simple, and I apologize to those of you who are maybe off-put tonight that the finale got a little bit derailed, and I obviously I apologize. I had to stop the stream to take care of that. He All had right. to stop the stream. But now the good news is, a few people are gone. They're not coming back. 
won't have to be derailed by that shit anymore. You know? There we go. Sorry, and but... as we know, nothing bad ever happened. His chat has been super positive ever since. Right? It is the, if that's the mentality, I'm, I'm going to watch a, 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 a streamer's stream, but I'm going to completely make the stream about me. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about, right? It's just, it's too much, man. It's just too much. It's too much annoyance. It's too much derailment. It's too much nonsense and trolling. And, I, you know, I've been, I've been doing this for 12 years. I know when people when people are trying to do it. Of course. Know? It's obvious. It's exactly. That's why he never learns, because he's been doing it for so long. His agenda was tonight. I'm going to keep doing 50-bit cheers that have nothing to do with anything. So, and I'm going to get, then he's going to get angry because I'm not reading them right away. But I'm in an action-packed finale of a game. Yeah, but it did work, though. It did work. Because somebody was sending him 50 bits, and he went all, all out on this. Get out and don't ever come back, okay? Okay. All right. So, finally, we're going to close this off with a classic one. You guys know this. You guys love this. It's the Bubbles. It is the Bubbles. And it's a classic. Absolutely. Pick one as the only one forever. Barbecue sauce, Frank's Red Hot, ketchup, blue cheese, ranch. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go with... Um... Uh, let's just go with ranch. I don't know. I'm white. Let's just go with ranch. It's safe. Because you can put it on a bunch of stuff. If I had to pick one. But, you know what? I, I, I don't do absolutes. I don't have favorites. So, depending on the circumstance, it's a, it's a different sauce, dude. So, we can't do absolutes in this case. So, you're getting banned, Vikes, for being, uh, uh... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, bubbles time, everybody. Let's blow some bubbles. Can't you do anything? Shut the fuck up about the fucking bubbles before I take away the bubbles forever. People being little bitches in the chat. I'm trying to learn how to play a fucking game. Shut the fuck up and act older than five fucking years old about the goddamn bubble. You fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn. He is so mad. He runs how out of breath being really pissed off. Act like that. Shut up. Now I can't see. Now I can't play. What am I supposed to do now? Now I can't do anything. You fucking idiots will shut up. Fucking bubble. Oh look, the hottest new fighting game's out. Who's trying to learn it? So what fucking bubbles for 45 minutes? Shut up! And he's getting bodied, by the way. Which has nothing to do with the bubbles. I'm supposed to it has everything to do with him being distracted as fuck, like though. Seriously. Ha <laughs> ha! Seriously. I'm supposed to learn a new fighting game. Bubbles, where's the bubbles? Where's the fucking bubble? You take the bubbles and shut them up your fucking ass. How about that? How about this? No more fucking bubbles. How about there that? You're getting your anymore. bubbles taken away because you have been a bad boy. So no more, no more bubbles for you, mister, until you learn your lesson. Concentrate and act like an adult with a bunch of people screaming for bubbles like little idiots. Jesus Christ. Who is the adult? Is it the guy who's asking for the bubbles or the guy who is blowing the bubbles for his audience of adult people? Makes you wonder. See, I'm just so tired of you now. It's like, now, I don't want to like, I don't, yo, we can't help, we can't have fun on a stream of films because it's all about fucking bubbles and shit. Shut up. Seriously, man. I just want to have fun. I can't. I literally lost that match because I can't concentrate. These <laughs> idiots are fucking... He literally lost because people complained about bubbles. That's why he lost. Not because he was getting bodied. Making me rage about bubbles. The dumbest thing. What idiotic thing to say. Anyway, thank you, Feline Tech Support, for two Super Chats. I'm mad and I want to end on a win, and I can't. As you can see, I literally cannot end on a win tonight because I'm all raging now because of this stupid shit. So the next seven minutes, the chat has been asking for the bubbles. Meanwhile, DSP ignored the chat as he kept losing. He went overtime half an hour because he wanted to end on a win. And then he was denied. And uh, he wasn't happy well, about thank it. Thank you, Snorlaxing, for the $2 tip. And, I, you know, I'm sorry I lose my cool when you get, uh, you know, a couple people who are idiots because they're here every stream doing that same shit. You know what I'm saying? They're in here every stream. Now, obviously, this is a competitive stream. This is something I'm trying to learn a game. It's very hard to learn because not only is it just fundamentals of Street Fighter, but you have these new systems you're trying to learn. Brand new characters who move sets. I'm trying to absorb. I only have three days to play this. And I'm trying to absorb as much as humanly possible. And I look back at the chat and for the last like hour. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Every fucking other word 
Are the people in the chat? Bubbles. Bubbles. Are you fucking four? Why would you act like that? Shut the fuck up. But I that's think you can your, understand your where gimmick, I'm coming dude. From. This is not a late night chill stream where we're just chatting it up and having a casually good time. And then you go, okay, oh, can I have some bubbles, you know? <clears throat> yes, you can. Because we're just not doing anything but talking and playing a slow game. When I'm trying to learn a game like this, you shut the fuck up and stop spamming the chat with nonsense. <laughs> and by the way, they only did it because there's no mod in there right now. Because you see, right now there's no mod. So I gotta, you know, I gotta fucking do it, deal with it, right? It's like, oh my god. You're gonna drive me nuts. This guy is such a fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles. Here, I, I never, I, at this rate, I literally never want to see bubbles ever again. Seriously, I never want to see these ever again. I'm going to fucking throw Look them. Look at the way he was dangling them in front of the camera. Like the fishing lures. It, remember that? He was literally dangling lures in front of the camera. Like it's Jasper on the other side. Bubbles, bubbles. So hey, pathetic. I, I I, I, this... It's like, Phil, you made this community. You created this community of idiots, of man children, of actual fucking degenerate rejects. And you're... You're, you're unhappy with how the community turned out? Well, you unleashed the monster, dude, and now you gotta take care of that monster. That's right. I literally never want to see Bubbles ever Look again. Look at this. Look at how he's shaking him. Seriously, I never want to see these Shaky, ever shaky. Again. I'm gonna fucking- I don't want to see those again. You guys have been naughty. You've been a naughty little boy. Naughty little man-child. Throw him out. So I don't ever have to ask for it again like that. Like, that drives me nuts, man. Oh. <sighs> all right. Well, thank you all for your super chat. We have a bunch of super chats at the end. I, I don't have time to read them all. I already went over half an hour late. So thank you to Feline Tech Support, Kevin, Mary, Gabe, and the cat. I appreciate yeah, all your thanks. super chats here at the end. All right. All right. Let's close this one off with Dale the Stallion with the song Flubber. This is the latest and greatest from Snortwave Records, dude. Hope you like drum and bass. This is the first one. I'm trying to I'm trying to tackle as many different genres of music as possible. So uh, drum and bass was one of them. So I, I just made it. Uh, anyways, thanks everybody for stopping by this. Um, I guess a random kind of stream because this dude was just acting up so crazy. I just couldn't help myself. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my night, even though it's like 2:30 in the morning. So I guess I'll I'll enjoy the rest of my morning. And uh, you guys have a nice weekend. See you around. See you tomorrow for that being said. And big ups. Yong out. I'm tired of this fat fuck popping up in all my fucking search engines when I'm looking for a fucking workout video. I don't give a fuck about the aftermath from any of you boogie fans that feel sorry for this greasy fuck. Oh. Cheese drinking. Ass smelling. Crystal bathing. Lard gargling. Calorie eating. Blah. Mall. Who?